You're listening to Robert Kelly's You Know What, Dude? on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. This weekend, big, big show. Gotham Comedy Club, January 31st, February 1st, February 2nd, New York City. I got a special guest on the show. Amy Schumer. And Joe List will be emceeing the whole weekend. So this weekend, big show, Gotham Comedy Club, the 31st, 1st, and 2nd. So make sure you come down, get your tickets now, tell a friend, grab your girl, get that shit now. It's going to be crazy. And the special guest who's featuring... Amy Schumer. Should be fucking headlining. Okay, so it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Gotham Comedy Club this weekend. Get your tickets now. I want to really send a big, huge congratulations out to Mad Scientist Party Hour and the Bailey J Show for their 100th episode. They both hit 100. Uh, It's amazing. Congratulations. You guys are awesome. If you haven't heard their show yet, go over there. Go to Riotcast. Get the app. Or go to the dot com. Go to iTunes and download their shows. Hilarious. Very interesting, unique fucking humor. Not the same old, same old. So congratulations to you guys. You, Bailey J, Matt. You guys are all great. And uh, that's it. From your boy, Bob. All right, check it out. Here it is, uh, Thursday edition of YKWD. You guys are uh, asking for extra episodes and all that shit. Because one just ain't enough. Well, here's two. For the second week in a row. Uh, This is a show I forgot about. Fuck, I... uh, It was just there, and I just kept having really great shows, and I held this one back. Not that it's not a great one, but... uh, Anywho, here it is. Thursday edition... Special edition, truck driver special uh, of YKWD, back in the groove with Nick Cody from Australia, Kelly Pastuk, and myself, and I believe Big J. And there might be one other person, maybe Joe List, I forget. And I'm not listening to it again. So, this is just a surprise. I hope you like it. I hope you cocksuckers enjoy it. Two weeks in a row, you get two episodes. That's it. Back in the groove, YKWD. Enjoy. Hey, gang. This is Colin Quinn. This is Jim Norton. This is Dennis Leary. This is Opie from a lot of things. This is Burt Kreischer. Stan Cook, and you are listening to Robert Kelly's You Know What, Dude? You Know What, Dude? You Know What, Dude? <laughs> Ippy bippy baya, ippy bippy boo. Dippy dippy daya, yabba dabba doo. Dude! This is Robert Kelly's You Know What Dude! You know what dude! Uh, you stupid Oh shit! Listen, here's the fact: is okay. I I'm 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 fucking annoyed right now. All right, I'm starting these shows. I'm not waiting for people. (laughs) When I'm here, the show starts. Uh. I don't care if I'm here at fucking 45 minutes before. We're starting the show. Okay, we're not waiting for people to fucking show up. We're here, mate. The show is here. You're Australian contingent. I don't care about you. Yeah. This is the worst <laughs> thing I could have possibly asked for. Is you Australian fucking ass twats being here. Got me medicine? Oh, uh, yeah, you shaky twit. Fucking Roger Cody, whatever your name is. <laughs> Stuntman Cody. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fucking bullshit right now. I'm fucking mad. You are mad. Yeah, because it's this is the deal. I'm 42. Mm. Okay? I shouldn't have to... This city, I love this city. Mm. This is a great fucking city. I understand 
I, I, it, but you know what it is? It's a young person city. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay? It's a young person city or a rich person city. It's the, the, the middle class doesn't belong in this city. Yeah. Middle age, middle class. Get the fuck out. Get a car, get a garage, get a street, a corny street, Johnson Street, and a fucking shitty fucking goddamn mailbox and get the fuck out. I'm on a, I gotta bundle up like a fucking asshole, like a fat middle aged housewife. <laughs> and I gotta, like, go to Costco, put a backpack on. Over sling a backpack like I'm going to school and then take a stupid Metro card out of my fucking tight jeans, <laughs> swipe it, and then f- fucking 13 juvenile fucking delinquents who just got out of school, by the way. The kids who go to school in New York are fucking the worst. The worst. Mm. Oh, to me, they look like the toughest people. Like if you're 12 walking around the city smoking a cigarette, but it's the two, like it's, holy shit. It's the Listen left and the right. I'm not done ranting. <laughs> Shut your pie holes up. We're supporting a rant. I don't care. You're interrupting a rant with your fucking, fucking, it still sounds nice when you rant. assholes say it. You still sound like you're happy about it. I know they're fucking dangerous. Uh, those people are cunts, mate. <laughs> These fucking little twits make me sick i mean i gotta push my way the uh, like four of them little fat asshole with a f- and this fucking they're all their backpacks because they just got out of the school they they walk on the train and when they find this they stop and there's 15 people still not on the fucking train yeah. and i gotta literally i had to push an old lady in this little fat fucking little fat fuck on, it's like move you fucking idiots do you have any parents that teach you respect Mm-mm. do you have any fucking buddy in your family that teach you how to be a human fucking being you fucking little rat face cocksuckers you selfish look at no, growing up in the city can teach you culture and can give you amazing stuff and, and, and make you a, a, a well rounded human being but it also fucks you mm. because you're not afraid of shit Kids need to be afraid of shit. Kids need to be afraid of adults. I was afraid of adults growing up because I got a beating from adults. That's why. Because that part- I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 42, sweating on a fucking subway train, having to fight 14-year-olds to get on the fucking thing because they don't know how to respect elders. And then I'm on the stupid train and I'm a psycho. So I'm fucking having fights with kids and oh, other people. Shit. And this guy, who tell, you know, and this lady bumps in and then another bigger guy comes in. And I got to fight him. I fought nine people on the train in my head on the way down here. <laughs> I had five fights on the way down here in my head. And I won all five, by the way. <laughs> That's because you're a fucking hammer. The hammer. The Boston hammer kid. And I got to fucking walk up these stupid stairs, get stuck in this turnstile because my bag and my stomach are too fat. (laughs) Walk by nine homeless people, assholes probably make more money than me. (laughs) And then I go up the stupid stairs, walk through here, I'm freezing and I'm hot. How the fuck's that happen? I'm sweating. The the rule, I watch Discovery (laughs) Channel. You're not supposed to do that. You could die (laughs) when it's cold out. You're not supposed to be sweating under your fucking... (laughs) <laughs> then I get here I gotta walk up Two flights to the Fucking studio And I'm sweating Then there's two Happy Aussie assholes oh, Kabittens up here <laughs> Hello, hello, cat. hello, yeah, hello. Hey Kenny You want some tea You're thinking I don't know You know Fuck Balti is <laughs> Want me to sing to you Bobby <laughs> Do you want to pull out My voice that sounds Like a bird <laughs> Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chiru. <laughs> the look on his face yeah. right now is great. It's like it instantly just settles yeah. him down. Would that put you to sleep? Like whale noises or like no, leaves blowing you, across the ground? No, her fucking, <laughs> that happy fucking voice makes me happy as it reminds me of a kid. It's like an opposite Manchurian candidate. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to kill anyone. I'm, I'm fucking mad. Yeah. It's just a fucking, it's a, it's a hassle. I will it's, say this though: everyone in this city at least walks a decent pace. Everyone walks pretty quick. Yeah. Can you sure. sing another song, please? Um, uh, any mic? Chimney, Don't just go to any mic. Chimney. Any song? Quick, go, go, just go. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Medicine go down. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful. Away, ba da 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 da. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> that makes me feel better. Oh, John. Oh, no. All right, we already started, Joe. Get There's the fuck in here. In here. Oh, right. We already started. The mics are hot. I'm already fucking pissed off. Oh, so sit the fuck down. What's up, buddy? Good to All see right, you, man. List. Nice to see it's good to have a fellow Bostonian here with some hate in his heart, oh, other yeah. than these two happy Aussies. Oh. Hi, Nick. How do you do? Hi, Nick. How do you do? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet sit, you. Too. Sit in, sit in wherever you want. Sit, I would sit in Dan's right. seat. Yeah. Unless you like near the fridge, because I know you like reaching in and grabbing a brewski. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want a beer? Maybe I'll have a beer. Oh, God. Do you want your tea? Got a drinking What's buddy today. I'll have a tea. Yeah, yeah. I'll have a tea. Uh, you know, oh, it, here's, here's the thing. How are you talking me out of this? Here's oh. the thing. I, I'm fucking... No, Jesus. All right. Just move the... the uh, you don't have to move the microphone. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You remember. It's been uh, that long, Joe? It's been a while. It's been a couple months. I know. I miss you. I miss you terribly. On the, you've been on the road trying to make make another go at been it. Been on the road a little bit. You're trying to fucking, you're trying to get one more <laughs> shot. Huh. This is Rocky, like Rocky Three. I was about to say that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Happy to be back. Nice thought, to see everybody. I, I thought I, I thought I scored you on the down, the downhill on the final fucking bottom. Now I'm making a big move here. We you'd be on the show. I was on television last night. What? 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 Hopefully for rape. Not real television. <laughs> Not you raping. You getting raped <laughs> by a gay black gang. Who? Ooh, who'd you rape? I survived. Who did you Where rape you last night? Holy hell! Who did you Hello. rape? Uh, oh, I did the uh, Nick and Artie show. I raped Artie. I heard about you. I actually somebody tweeted then, me about uh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. He uh, some uh, that was uh, Soko Tyler or something. I don't remember these people like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have fifty well, I get, to I, three thousand people. That's why I thought it was funny. He was like, "Ah, the shoes on the other foot, Bobby." Yeah. And, what? Uh, that you're you're on a TV? Because I got on uh, Nick and Artie's show. Yeah. How'd you so, like it? It was fun. Was it? Yeah, it was great fun. Good. That's good. How's the new studios? It's uh, it's good. It's not this nice, but it's nice. <laughs> I heard it's even it's it's amazing. No, I've it's seen. great. There's like a baseball uh, thing. I was playing baseball with Artie. There's a basketball what? thing. Yeah, it's, it's 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 they have a pretty I mean, huge. Yeah, I, I I I've been in this I've been on the show a couple times. I um I the in the shit studios. Right. Oh, it was just terrible. Right. Oh, you fucking on each other's laps. <laughs> the green room is fucking just filled with people that aren't on the show. Yeah, there's a there's still that, but it's it's very <laughs> it's gigantic. It's huge. But do they it's have men? I got in a fight with one of the blonde girls. Oh yeah, the twins. Yeah, well, well, one of them called me ugly. They're fucking assholes. On air, yeah. Why are they such assholes? I don't know. It's like you're not even that pretty. They're you're, pretty pretty. No, they're not. They're not. Not when there's two of you. Mm. Doesn't make them twice as pretty? It doesn't even make sense, but uh, I just wanted to throw it, it out there. See if something came out of it. You never know. Right. Not Magic unique. happens. Yeah, it does. What's with the uh, jacket? It looks like you have a TP over I'm, there. Uh, there's, I, there's a, I don't like people seeing what I'm doing over here. Oh, all right. Boy, things have changed since last I was here. <laughs> Listen, man. Those, Yeah, that fucking girl said something to me. Like I wouldn't, I would never like something like I would never sleep with him or something. Like that. I'm like, bitch, you do nothing for me either. Right. I don't like feeling a spine bone <laughs> on my ball sack. See, I like a petite girl, and I don't nice. like dumb people either. They're fucking dumb as mud. Right. Yeah, well, geez. one of them is. One of them's nice. One of them's actually really nice. Yeah, one she, was nice to me, and one was yeah, kind of one ugly. was yeah. The other one's just a fucking asshole. Right. Good call, bad cop. Don't call fucking Joe List. Only person called Joe List ugly. Is, you is me. <laughs> it's, it's, the list is not short, but but not her. <laughs> not her. She's, Who are they? I don't think she's that pretty. I don't think she's that pretty. Google it. Do you fucking do crazy, your finger job and find hot. out. I'm sorry they called you ugly, Joe. Yeah, just one of them. What, what do they do on the show? Exactly. They 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 make fun of them. That's what they do. There's two hot supposedly uh, blondes. And they're twins. Yeah. That's the gimmick. They're like uh, PAs or something. Yeah, PAs. And that's the gimmick. And they want to become famous, but they don't want to work for it. They want to use their fucking, you know, hey, we're twins. We're blonde fucking crazy dumb twins. And one's nice, good cop, bad cop. And one, you know, they, they you know, one's kind of an asshole. Yeah. And they they're, don't, pretty, they're pretty hot, though. They're yes. not that hot. They're, they're like, not that hot. It's on the dude. website. Look at Joe List on the website. They're not that's that hot. Oh, hang on. No, it, it switched. Hang on. Oh, you got fucking <laughs> fat and ugly. <laughs> Girl at a point. <laughs> what is it like the Playboy Mansion? They just have two like. Hot All right, focus girls. in on what you're doing. You're still on the fucking show. <laughs> get the photos if you're gonna get the photos. You stop the show with the photos. We all look at the photos and there's no photos. Okay. It's fucking Artie Lang. <laughs> now you ruin the fucking flow of the there fucking. He is. Um, Fuck him. I want to see the blondes. He's right here, you <laughs> fucking dumb Australian. I didn't see that picture. That was exciting. <laughs> I'm in a shitty mood today, dude. Know. I don't know. what the, the show's like a big TV thing. I've added 12 Twitter followers. I added 900 after I did your show. 
Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So there you go. There you go. Because we have your fan base. But they have two hot <laughs> girls, and we have one moderately attractive one. So yeah. it's kind of even guy. Out. We have a hot Australian guy. Look yeah, at him. Yeah, we do. Apparently, yeah, I look sexy. like a. I don't know the way he's so. actually his posture is what a fucking supermodel does when she sits down. It's attractive. Yeah, he Very holds her other man. elbow with her fucking arm. <laughs> I gotta stop swearing too. By the way, Why? I swear too much on the show. I swear too much in life. And and if I'm gonna have a kid, I can't be swearing. Are you having a kid? I want to have a baby. Oh, I'm trying to have a baby. Why do you guys say it like that? What that you were? I, I was gonna ready to be like, yeah. hey, oh. what's that? Boo boo ba 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 baby. Oh, you would talk baby talk. Yeah, when I, I had do. a baby. I'm I'm pissed off because I'm coming here and I'm 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 sick That's of. That's the best way to have a baby. I'm sick. <laughs> Joe's back. Yeah. I'm I'm coming. I gotta I gotta bundle up like I'm going to community college. I gotta put on this backpack. I gotta go to a fucking train station, find my stupid metro card, and then and then get muscled out of a train spot from twelve year olds getting out of school. <laughs> These shitty, confident, cocksucking New Yorker kids right. that walk around in gangs. Yeah, I don't care for. Yeah, them. they have don't have five. They have like a half a parent. Teaching them what the fuck to do, <laughs> and then I, I I can't get on the train. I gotta, and then I you know I had nine fights in my head with with uh, with you know nine different twelve year olds on the tor- train. Right. I get down here, it's just a nightmare. It's like I, I'm forty two. I should have a Lexus in a garage. I should be pulling up. And my little kids should be running out going, dad, dad. And I should grab them and go, hey, what's up, son? No, I'm, I'm packing on a, f- I have a vest. No 42-year-old should have a vest. I have a puffy vest. These the girls? Yeah, that's Liz them. Marie? Yeah, they're, yeah. F- yeah, they're good looking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're one, f- oh, come on now. They're pretty hot. They're all right. How about when you, are all right. We- you know what, you know what the they're best part about these photos? Nah. You know what the, no, they're not. They're not. You know what the best part about this photo is? Is that, that that's going to go away. And then what do you got? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two regular chicks. One an asshole and one's nice. <laughs> yeah. But fuck the nice one. <laughs> the oh. nice one's still getting thrown under the bus. <laughs> yeah. What are these yeah, what are you, you're twin. just nice. Yeah, they're twins. You're just they a can nice fucking person. both have it. She's actually, the other one was kind of, I just hate that, dude. I hate that they set you up. It's like, bitch, do you know who you're dealing with? Joe, you could annihilate yeah. her. I know, but I played, uh, I was like, I find you guys attractive. Oh, you so did that, that shit? Made you did Dan bad. Soda? No, I made them feel bad. So you and made- I do find them attractive. Oh, God. I, I won in my own way. You mm. won in a shitty way. Oh, shut up. I, so I expect more out of you. <laughs> Did well, you jerk off? First time there. Jerk off later thinking about them? I That's can. a win. Not yet. No? Uh, but I will. That's your first. You so you want, you, you're, you're thinking long term. I want to go back. I want to go back and you're, I want to I have sex with them. That's my. That's the ultimate revenge. You know that's not going to happen. Uh, no, that I pulled some pretty right? hot ass in my day. What's that? I pulled some pretty hot ass in my day. Robert, I'm going to actually, I'm on Joe's side of this one. He is very charming. I can be quite charming. He's very charming. You lie and, you know. You, have, you have to lie about what? Your penis? And how much money you have in the bank? <laughs> Both of those I've things. I've been a bars No, I'm him. honest. I tell him I got a small, weird dick and yeah. uh, no money. And then people are like, <laughs> They oh. love him. Like, I've been a bars with him where girls are just like, like dying. They're laughing and like, ah. You know, why pe- you know why people like Joe List? Because he accepts himself. I do accept myself. He knows his worth. I hate myself. <laughs> you do. You accept, accept worth, you do. I'm worth about 14K annually. You, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> you, for you, Joe, and Joe has fun wherever he is. I'm a fun guy. Because he knows him. He knows his, he knows himself. That's yeah. the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Aww. That's true. I've seen you on um, certain videos. I've seen you out. <laughs> and you, you are you. You accept, you know your pros and cons. Oh, thanks. Mostly cons but you know them <laughs> if you consider how crooked my teeth are in herpes and you see the girls I've fucked it's pretty wild yeah well look you're a funny you guy too yeah he's got herpes I fucked most of the girls before the herpes <laughs> and that's usually his microphone that's why it's orange <laughs> <laughs> that one's, that's orange stay away we've, we've, we've gone over it many many times but yeah Joe has herpes yeah. any more ap- outbreaks lately I have one right now as a matter of fact no way do you yeah it's been a lot of stress On really your TV show you know all that stuff what TV oh. show Oh, Nick and Artie. That's it? <laughs> it's not a TV show. It's a radio show that's that was, filmed. It's on. <laughs> That'll be payback for those girls. Uh, yeah. That's payback. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, please. Oh, I yeah. Burns down there. Please, I, I hope you fuck the well, I mean one. I didn't fuck him. I mean... I hope you yeah. fuck the mean one and give her a nice herpy. I would, yeah. I'd go to the bathroom. I was just rubbing my dick and then slapping him in the face. Yes. <laughs> makes sense. Perfect. What are we doing? Where did this go? Good for you, Joe. <laughs> This that's great. Exciting. Oh, that's too bad. It, but it's not as bad as the first outbreak that you had. The first herpes is the worst, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's bananas. It's, it's bananas. crazy. Yeah, this you couldn't like, even shower properly. Like. This is like No, I couldn't shower. Dan Soder was an idiot. Uh, <laughs> did we already tell that story when Soder was like, he goes, oh, man, I know what it feels like. I've had a, I've had a few scares. 
That's and I was like, that doesn't make sense. I have it. I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm like, that's the equivalent of me going, oh, your dad's dead. I know what you feel. My dad went on vacation for like a week one time. <laughs> and then we're walking around and I couldn't walk. I was like, I got to go home because I couldn't even move. And he's like, come on, man, cheer up. Just cheer up. And I'm like, no, I'm not bummed out. I'm in agony. My dick is bleeding. I have open uh, sores in my dick. Oh. And he's like, cheer up. Like, it's, not, it's not a mood choice wow. thing. Like every time yeah. your underwear rubbed against a sore, it just it, has a there's no, there's no Vincent Peel book that can help you out of this. Oh like, so, I mean, so does Vincent Peel. I don't know what Vincent Peel is. is. Positive, positive thinking book guy. Yeah. Wow. Plus, I was, I was already thinking about, I have to apologize about Soda, because he'll listen to this, and he'll be like, oh, what the fuck? But You don't apologize to he went, Soda. He, he was, he was being will, very sweet. Listen, but. man, Soda will throw you under the bus in a second about your mouth. <laughs> and has true. in front of you, and behind your back. I'll replay these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> okay? <laughs> Soda's coming to my house for Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, in Boston. Big family Thanksgiving. That's oh, right, because yeah. you know how I know that. I invited him to my house for Thanksgiving. Oh. That's very nice of you. I feel bad. I got him work to go along with it, though. I actually got him a twenty thousand dollar gig <laughs> on did, Thanksgiving. He didn't know about that though. Oh wow! Yeah, can I do that? And he can. Well, the twenty thousand dollars <laughs> has to go back to charity after. Oh wow! Well, I'm oh, still here, good. Bobby. Can I have the twenty thousand dollar gig? You can have an eight dollar gig. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's a metric card. That's okay. That sounds good. <laughs> I can get home. That's so sad least. when a when a fucking a comic is like, oh, it's a metro card. Yeah, yeah. Comics come home? No. Oh. No, I'm not doing that this year. I did it last year. What? Have you ever done it? No. You could put in a word for me. I would. I would. I will put in a word for you. I'm from okay. there. Have you done six thousand people before? Uh, I've done I'd love three thousand, thirty five hundred or so. Yeah. I said six thousand. Well, what's the difference that's, between six and thirty five? Uh, that's twenty five. Twenty five yeah. hundred. <laughs> twenty five hundred. But I mean, once once this three thousand, six thousand is pretty much. What's no, the, that's actually that's a lot more. <laughs> that's a lot more. You know it's what I'm bigger, saying, it's Bobby? A bigger stage. Bobby, I think it's Bobby. actually double. Like that's <laughs> yeah. That, we're going back as, to your herpy thing. <laughs> as a professional comedian, I think you know what I'm saying. How many did you do at the upper if house? The, if it was eighteen thousand, that would be a lot different. But three thousand and six thousand is yeah. essentially the same performance you're giving. How big was that? Right? Am I right? Am I crazy? I don't know. I'm saying no because I've done both. Yeah. All right. What's well, your... I'm saying you have to project a little more, a little more. Th- All right. <laughs> have a big, little more. How big have you done? Uh, twenty thousand. What was yours, Nick? Five. Uh, I think. Tw- a thousand? Okay. Nine hundred or a thousand? For your, Which, considering for, Australia, fuck, that's half the country. Yeah. For the gig. <laughs> yeah, those people it. had to take canoes to come see that show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where you guys going, mate? <laughs> Kelly Lodge? recently got up a 12 show? person gig. A 12 <laughs> people at the creek the other night. Really? You had 12 <laughs> people was, at your show? Uh, her first double digit show. All right. Yeah, <laughs> easy there, buddy. <laughs> no, you, I did the high five bar. I've had a few, a few hundred before, 500 at the high five bar. You had in a Melbourne? lot. You had five at uh, high five. Where's high five? So uh, high five at a big show in Melbourne during the Melbourne Comedy Festival. Yeah. Hey, listen, first of all, Nick, can you confirm this? I can confirm that there's a place called the High Five Bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually fucking say fuck it. And I, I, anything in Australia don't count. Okay. Yeah. I don't don't count. You're a thousand gigger. Yeah. Don't count. Okay. Two weeks ago. Well, I did it's not a- fucking metric imperial. Five hundred people's five hundred people. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but it's five hundred Australian people. That's actually fourteen Americans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I did one about uh, on Sunday. I did a fundraiser that was about two eighty three hundred. Really? Yeah, it was really? good. It was really good. It was fun. That's a lot of funds. How many people again? I didn't listen to you. Like 300. <laughs> Sorry for being honest. No, that's all right. It's like I didn't hear a word you say. I was just looking at your face. Shut up. Watching your eyelashes flicker. <laughs> you look nice. It's a nice Christmas uh, holiday uh, type sweater. Thank you. I just came from work and I stink. Oh, wow. What do you yeah. smell like? Sweat and I, I avocado. I didn't know half of that. It's pretty great. That's yeah. all my favorite. I've got pastries here. If anyone wants a pastry, I stole from my work. Ooh. Well, yeah. Let's, let's Ooh. not eat on the show no. yet. Let's like, just try to keep some professionalism. Yeah. I like how <laughs> I'm about to get my <laughs> second beer, but no croissants, all right? <laughs> 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 Allow me to get your well, second look, beer. We, we got to get him a beer. Show him your hands. Uh, look at look at that. Look at his hands. Oh, his hands. I have a similar thing. Look at mine. They're yeah, not as bad. Yours is, but yours is yeah. because you see yourself naked in the morning. <laughs> yeah. And it takes Joe's is anxiety. Nick's yeah. just his body. That's what it does. Because my hands are riddled with herpes. But here's your beer. Uh, <laughs> Joe is I back. Love Joe is back. so happy to be back. I love this is Joe. This exciting. Oh, so thanks. fun. Oh, um, stop it. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I, Seriously, you have herpes now, man. <laughs> just on your lips, though. Just on your lips. I uh yeah, but he'd go back to his country and he'd rub fucking Australian dirt with a fucking diggeroo hunk yeah. of shit and mix it up with a fucking uh, a beer <laughs> a, a, and a wop, yeah a wombat <laughs> claw. And oh, a, take care of herpes, mate. <laughs> we don't tell you in America. Punch the pl- herpes in the fucking face. <laughs> Have you seen the Coca Cola Kid, mate? <laughs> Eric Roberts. <laughs> 
<laughs> you love that film. Best ass. In Best ass ever. Yeah. Ever, yeah. Hmm. I um, you know what the worst movie in the world is? What? I mean, it. Ha- I'm. F- I watched the whole thing today. Just to make sure I was right. <laughs> I'm, excited. I'm not even kidding. I'm excited. Ready to rumble. Oh, I haven't seen it. But Ready I'm sure it's to fixed. rumble. Is it The Rock? It, no. It's when WCW was big. Goldberg. Diamond Dallas Page. Diamond Dallas Page. And um, uh, Khan, the James Khan's son, uh, whatever his name is. Pull that up when you get a chance on Scott, IMDb. Scott Khan. David Arquette. David Arquette. Oh. Read the fucking list of these assholes on here. Uh, starring David Arquette, Oliver Platt, Scott Can, Bill Goldberg, Steve Sting, Borden, Jill Ritchie, Rose McGow. Ugh, this is awful. It is the worst. Hey, fucking, Sting was in it. It's the worst movie. Exactly. <laughs> Have you seen his bi- his uh, his biography or his movie that he made? No. It's all. It, it's he actually. You know the wrestlers do the uh, biographies now for W yeah. Uh, yeah, WWE. Yeah. Well, his was he made a short film mixed with a real biography, and it's about becoming a born again Christian. And then, oh, what uh, a- it, once once I saw the cross on fire, I was I'm out, <laughs> I'm out, I'm gone, I'm gone. Oh this is scaring the shit out of me. So Just does that make like that the worst movie you've ever seen? Ready to rumble. Ready to rumble is the uh-huh. worst fucking movie on the planet Earth. It's I, uh, I think they didn't. First of all, I think there was no take two at all. I think it was all take ones. Right. Ed Wood. It was Ed Wood. Okay, it was take ones, and and that's it. That's it. They just shot, cut, good, moving. Is there a plot? <laughs> yeah, the oh. plot is... Okay, go ahead. Read the plot. Uh, well, the Make f- Bobby cry. The fa- <laughs> Dick. <laughs> well, the first two words of the plot goes, sewage workers, which are already hijinks. <laughs> like, can we just settle down? You could, get a, you could squeeze a good movie out of sewage workers, though. The they find the turtles still down on, there? I'm still on board at sewage workers really? so far. Yeah. Ugh. Because it used to be so much funnier if they have to work with shit. Come on, guys. Oh, see, I didn't Suck even that a dick. <laughs> That's so fucking dumb. Uh, they watch their favorite wrestler uh, cheated out of his title. Uh, I'm already bored. I don't even know if I can read through it. Yeah. yeah. All, all the plot is basically the king, okay? He's the king, and he gets cheated out of his title, and he loses all his hope and all his self esteem, and they have to come in and they have to, uh, you know, motivate him to be. But literally, okay. Here's a, here's a plot. The uh, what's his name's fucking Arquette's dad is a serious cop. He's a serious state trooper, and he wants him to be a state trooper. I, so all the movie's going along. They get all the plot to get his shit together. They get him a. They get him kind of back in. They're rolling, and all of a sudden they go back into town. A uh, police car pulls up, and it, he's on the uh, the micro the uh, megaphone. He goes, "Get in the car now!" And he gets in the car and leaves. Arquette. His father pulls up, gets okay. in the car, and then they go to his house, and he's like, I can't. I got to be a cop. Literally, like in two seconds, his father <laughs> just shows up and breaks his will. He went across the world to help Oliver Platt get his shit together, right? Left his dad, left everything. His father shows up one fucking second back, and he's going to be a cop. Didn't even question it. Just went, oh, fuck. Got to get in the car, you guys. And then he shows up at the... F- I'll ruin the whole movie. Then he shows up <laughs> at the end. I'm sure they did already. Shows up at the end. <laughs> And they do a steel cage, cage mac, but three of them. There's three on top of them. Oh, wow. That's the, it's the fucking... And I love wrestling. It sounds like a real piece of shit. It, it is. Was it, isn't there not a newer movie called Ready to Rumble with The Rock or something like that that just came oh, out? Like he's babysitting or some shit? Oh. No. Wasn't there something like that? Any time a guy... Fairy? No. That's, that's Vin, Vin Diesel. Like, you know, a guy with muscles. No. Yeah. No, the two fairies, The Rock. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Guys, listen, first of all, you guys get the movies a year after us. So, <laughs> okay, The Rock just became a star to you guys. <laughs> We're still hey, we got taken. We got taken first, apparently. Yeah. Before well, that, the US. Well, you're a day ahead. <laughs> that wasn't bad. <laughs> hey, I, I just watched Brokeback Mountain again today. That's a terrific movie. That's because you're gay. No, because <laughs> I'm an appreciator of great movies. That's because you're dying to spit in your hand Why can't and I quit put it up you? a bum dry. Oh, uh, come on now. Yeah. You had herpes, so you watch that. that and think, at least it's not AIDS. <laughs> yeah. that a good one? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That is just downright prejudice. <laughs> that movie took place before AIDS. Good. <laughs> Pre-AIDS, yeah. was it? Yeah. That was, was in the it? 60s. Yeah. There was no AIDS in the 60s. Yeah, oh, the, the Brokeback Mountain, I, I get it's a good movie. I thought it was a good movie, but... I. 
I could never watch it twice. Mm. I've seen it three or four times, I have to be honest. Really? Do you have something to tell us? It's a great performance. But he, see, this is the problem. It's good Everyone cinematography. Gets, yeah, great cinematography. He's on scene it's with like no It's a great man. story. And, uh, you know, I mean, I mean do you don't get me wrong. I will admit, I chuckle through the, the sex scene. It's pretty <laughs> hilarious. I love that uh, you're, you're fighting and they, quit spit, you. they spit on each other and they fight. It's really <laughs> the fact good that fun. First of all, do you know how dirty the hands are? They've been fucking rolling yeah. cattle all day. Carrying sheep, yeah. Yeah, and they got dirty hands and he just spits in his fucking hand. Well, and putting then, a dick in an ass is dirty as is. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to that. It's like oh, sorry. You, your hand is dirty. The assholes have been dirty, sweaty all day. It's not like they have baby wipes out there. And not quality showers either. There's no showers. They they sit in the fucking. They pan <laughs> off, and then you fuck. I mean, gee, they must. I mean, it must not be. Like, I think it would have been weirder if, the, at one point, they just pulled out wet wipes and washed off before they got into it. Well, they didn't have wet wipes back then. That oh, would have been weird. Suspension All the '60s police. parts are really throwing me off. Right. <laughs> I just think that if you're gonna listen, here's the deal. If you're gonna, it would have been better for me is if before they fucked for the first time, one of them was washing in the river and scrubbing down pretty good. <laughs> The other one came in and scrubbed good too, and then they fucked. Right. It would have been better for me. <laughs> it was impromptu. You... It was impromptu, but I didn't like it. I, I know one of them would have been the bottom and been like, "Let me just clean up a little bit." Right. Just give me five. Minutes. And they yeah. were drunk. Yeah. I know the first time Soda and I fucked drunk, we did not even. What? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Oh. All right. Ah, oh, geez. That's getting interesting. Oh boy. You Come fucked on. Dan Soda. <laughs> Oh boy! Could you imagine really. if Dan was gay? That would be the best thing ever. Oh god, it would just uh, be silly. That might mean be very happy. He'd be doing voices, making the guy laugh. I think you could convince Dan <laughs> to be gay under the right circumstances. What do you just mean? Go, it'd just go along, you know. <laughs> like ah, uh, you know, just tell him that it's I career guess. dependent. If it was like nine gay guys on a trip, he would eventually just be like, "Yeah, I'm gay too." What the hell? Yeah, you think so? Yeah. I think you he know might. Derosa would do that. Derosa would do that to get ahead in his career. <laughs> <laughs> Derosa is close sometimes. What, to being gay? Sometimes he does things. I'm like, really? okay, all right, I accept that. I love yeah, you. He and- send me photos of him just randomly just naked in shitty poses, <laughs> just from his cock tip up, <laughs> lying on the bed. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's done it a That's million appalling. times. I've seen him shirtless, and it's pretty gross. Yeah, well, it's actually... <laughs> I saw his dick. You, I couldn't find... I didn't even... I found his dick, like, three weeks later, showing somebody else the photo. Oh. And I was like, that's his dick. Oh, oh shit. Wow. I thought it, it looked like a ghost in the bushes. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> like a, a, a picture of a ghost dick. Oh, boy. <laughs> you never hear about ghosts having dicks. Yeah, they do. That? They do. They have ghost dicks. Yeah, I bet. Remember the movie that they, the girl, uh, man, it still turns me on, and I still what? fucking uh, want to jerk off. Barbara Hershey was in it. Uh, the Entity. Wow, I never saw that. No. Yeah, the rape ghost. She gets raped. What? By a, a ghost. ghost. Oh, and she likes it. Oh, wow. You see her tits getting mushed. And back <laughs> oh. then, they didn't have the special effects they have now. Just a um, guy in a shape mushing tits. I don't know. How, I really would love to know how they mushed their tits. But first of all, you see Barbara Hershey's tits, which are great. Barbara Hershey's in two of the creepiest kind of hot sexual things ever. Uh, Paris Trout uh, with Dennis Hopper, where he actually sticks a full fucking soda bottle up her ass or up her pussy. Hmm. Uh, and you, oh, it's just disturbingly hot. Oh wow! You hear the soda like fizzing up and pouring out of her pussy. Oh my god! Jeez. And then the uh, I got some watching to do. <laughs> and then yeah, you're watching the wrong. The film. entity yes. trout and yeah, ready, uh, to ready, ready to rumble. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the entity. Did you have it? Did you pull it up? Yep. Read it. Uh, the plot of it? Yeah, no. The okay. fucking whole thing. Okay. From beginning. No, the, 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 no, the, the uh, key grip. Uh, 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 interior who day. Rig, who rigged the lights on this? <laughs> interior day. Sidewalk. Yeah, let me just print off the scripts. Fucking idiot. Uh, <laughs> movie begins as Carla, she's a single mother, is violently raped in her home by an unseen force. Ooh. Initially convinced the attack was a nightmare. Subsequent episode of Poltergeist activity causes her to uh. flee with her children to a friend's home. And then blah, blah, blah. This sounds and that raped her again over there, too. Really? Huh? Yeah, I think so. It's a great scene. And she, you know, she's sleeping when she's getting raped originally. Oh, wow. Um, so she's kind of into it. You know what I mean? Like, if I was, here's a deal. <laughs> if you're asleep. And I like you, where this is going. Okay, good. <laughs> if you're asleep and you start to get blown mm-hmm. and you wake up and it, 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 the initial uh, feeling, you're going to be like, oh, God. This is awesome until you wake up and you see it's me. Right. Then you're going to freak out. Right. I'll be bummed out. Yeah, you'll be really? Probably. Okay. Well, now now I know <laughs> I now I know our boundaries. I mean, if you had hair, oh, so I might still be into it, but the bald head would just 
Really? So bald head just turned you off, huh? Wow. A little bit. I no. did not expect that coming from Joe. What about you, Kelly? Would you... Would you uh, would I what? If, if I was blowing you? <laughs> you were sucking on my dick? If I was sucking on your man clit that yeah. you have. Your Australian fucking beef jerky. There's a lot on my balls. <gasps> Uh, I've, I, I'm fine with it. I've, um, I've had ex-boyfriends that have been bald before. It's not a problem. I just threw up in my mouth. Yeah. What, from my man jerky? I don't know what it was from. I think oh, it was from boy. lunch. Actually. Yeah, mm. Too much lunch. So, if, if, but I think for the initial couple of seconds, you'd be like, oh God, until, where would the point where it'd be like, dude, don't, stop sucking my dick, dude. Well, you'd be like, whoa, I don't want this. When you feel stubble? It'd be annoying. I'd be trying to get back to sleep so then it's not gay. You know, when you're trying to finish like a sex dream. That's a good point, yeah. Fun. If you're in REM sleep, it's pretty straight. <laughs> so if, if, if you woke up... <laughs> they've got you hooked up to a machine to fight. It's yeah, officially as, gay now. He's out of this. He knows what you're he's out, doing. Yeah. As long as you're... As if snoring happening, it's okay. It's straight. What if you woke up and you, you were getting head and then you looked down and it was a, it was a dude... I'd but be bummed out immediately. I bummed I out immediately, upset. but would you stop? Yeah, yeah, I would, I would stop and cease being friends with that person. What if you didn't, for a time? What if you didn't know the person? What if you didn't know him and he was kind of cute? I mean, would I immediately like recognize that it's a guy? Because yeah, chance at the angle, it, I might not no, even know. So you, you you wake up, you don't recognize that it's a guy, and then all of a sudden you're like, is that a, who is? And then all of a sudden, after a couple, you're like, oh god, that's it. That's that fucking guy at the party. That fucking you know he oh Pete. shit. <laughs> what, would you, what would you do? I don't know. Hard to put myself in that circumstance. I would be upset. I would be like, stop doing that. I would probably get physical. I would be, I would try to be angry and fight him. But then I would be scared that he'd beat me up. And then I get blown then by he, a guy and then he beats me up. And then I'm at his... And then he just... <laughs> then he just fucks you. Then he just fucks me. Yeah, that's that's how it just played out in my head anyways. Possibly because I just watched Brokeback Mountain before I came here. <laughs> Fuck, but I yeah, I, I punch him and then he punches back and he's like... Rrr! And then he's like... Psh, psh, and then like nine other guys come in. I can't whistle, but everyone else comes in. Ooh. I guess I can whistle, just not the way I tried. I don't know why I tried a new whistling style right in the middle of my bit. <laughs> it was necessary for me to have a... Fucking, it's surprising that you can't whistle with those teeth. But listen, <laughs> ah. you should be able to whistle seven different ways. Mm. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's even like a harmonica. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. That was pretty funny. Come on, son. I called you Liz. Who's the, Liz? That's the twin's name. It was a callback to oh. the thing oh, earlier we should have uh, made it Liz and but Murray. I couldn't say thanks one of the twins and it would, uh, boy. that would have been okay. funnier <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funnier do you want to try it again we can do this again it's my hey, show let's do it again your teeth are like a ah, you got fucking bad teeth <laughs> yeah, thanks one of the twins <laughs> I played both parts <laughs> you couldn't see at home but I was doing a really effeminate hand uh, thing I would actually I would I would come in his mouth and they go aha fag <laughs> yeah I just came in your mouth that's a yeah, good yeah, you, you showed him you got my jizz in your mouth, you weirdo. Hey, it's not that bad. <laughs> then I call my wife and go, honey, this guy just blew me. What you had came in his mouth. Ha <laughs> ha. But if he spits it back at you, what's then worse I, than snowballing. that? Snowballing. Then I'd be like, thanks, Ooh. it's mine. I wanted it back anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd fucking drink it. Personally, I think it'd be weirder if they had facial hair and you felt the facial hair yeah. on your sort of, on your pubes? dick and balls. Yeah. Your pubes yeah. and facial hair, man. Have, yeah. have you ever gone with a girl with facial hair? No. I dated a girl who had to like shave, Italian <gasps> chick. Oh, what? really? Yeah, I was like making out and I kissed her neck and she'd like stubble. I did that too. It's pretty gross. It's it's disturbing because they hide it well. Yeah. And they don't it's not like they tell you. That's a bad hand to be dealt though, a girl with the hairy face. I feel bad yeah. for if it. You, if you can feel stubble on them, yeah. they haven't hidden it very well. Yeah. Well if you get <laughs> if you get really close and feel yeah, but it grows thick like no, I it's, it's waxing. Tough. If you wax, the hair grows back so soft there's no stubble. But waxing the face, can you do that? Isn't that? Yeah, I do my eyebrows, I do my mo. Oh. Yeah. What's your mo? Mo? My little mustache. Mustache. I get little bits of hair just on the side there. Oh like this a little fu Can I just yeah. say this is my biggest fear that women <laughs> have gone. You know, my wife's an esthetician. She waxes women's pussies and arms and legs and oh, kick ass. And Moe's. Mm. <laughs> God, do I hate your fucking accent. <laughs> okay. She'd be, she would have waxed a lot of faces in her time. So she she does that. And she does it herself, too. She waxes. I'm petrified that later in life that she's going to get lazy or sick. 
and I'm just going to have this fucking monster that I didn't know existed. Right. Because she, her mustache comes in and some long chin hair that I didn't know she plucked every two weeks comes in. Right. And a box connects to her asshole and her back muscles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm petrified that that's going to happen. Right. Today. If she's sick, did you say? Uh, yeah, if, she, if she's sick, <laughs> I just, I, you know, and then, oh, I'm just going to, oh, God. That's why I hope, that's why I'm glad that the, the older you get, the more your pubes die. And become crystal clear, like <laughs> right. they become see-through. So the stick isn't a bother, but it's more the one hair that grows that you didn't know she plucked. My grandmother has crazy hairs in her face, like six, eight yeah. inch hairs, like a Fu Manchu type thing. It's yeah, pretty gross. She looks like Jim the Anvil Nightheart. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. Oh, God. Ah, That's so God. much to look forward to. Thanks, guys. What a reference. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that's right. the thing. It's like, what happens if you go into a coma for two years and then we actually see how hairy yeah. your upper lip is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would. I mean, we wouldn't be visiting after a week or two. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, we would. We'd be fucking showing up like Kill Bill with a thing of Vaseline, five dollars a pop into that Aussie puss. Oh Jesus! Oh boy! We're doing the podcast oh. from a vag. <laughs> Can I say something? I just got a little turn on. My dick moved a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thinking about fucking Kelly while she's in, in the coma. coma. <laughs> Cause I would be I've thought about fucking Kelly while she's awake many times. Doesn't do anything for me, but her <laughs> unable to speak yeah. really is her at least two weeks into a coma. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> Real brain dead. Yeah. I, I dated a girl and she, yes. um, <laughs> yeah, I, I met her at a red light and she was so smoking hot. In Amsterdam? No, in, in Revere. <laughs> that was a better joke than people realize I right laughed. off the bat. I laughed. Yeah, I got it. It's pretty good. I, get it. I um, <laughs> I, is a red light, is that like an underage party? No, at a, really? at a fucking, fucking traffic red light. light. At a traffic, a traffic light. light. Oh, really? Yeah. No, like, yeah. oh, all right. Oh, okay. How pretentious do you think we are that we talk like that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't like your fucking perfect posture, by the way. <laughs> I want you hunched over like Joe and me. You want a, you want a banana peel back like me? <laughs> uh, your your posture is just disgusting. I know. I can't help it. You really do. Can we stop moving the table? <laughs> I was kidding. Shaky boy. I know. Stop touching the microphone with your shattering hands. <laughs> um... Yeah, it, we got back to the house, uh, and we started to kiss, and I realized that there was some stubble, but I thought it was me. I thought it was me, so we kissed a little bit, blah, 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 and that was it. And she was so pretty. You understand? Very pretty. Beautiful blue eyes, black hair, same shit, I, but mine was Greek. Um, so oh, beautiful. that tells me. And then the next her. night, she comes back again, and I shaved. You couldn't, nothing. I shaved up and down. Against the grain and with the grain, so you couldn't feel any stubble. And then we kissed, and she didn't apparently shave with the grain <laughs> or against the grain because it was her. And I remember we got naked, and I was like, "Fuck it." She had a mustache. She had some under her chin. <laughs> she had like a Fu Manchu. And then we started making out, and she had hair. God, fuck me! I'll throw up thinking about it right now. She had hair coming like out her ass crack. Uh, like a yeah. give, oh. us see, give us see that Family Tree commercial. Where the lady's like, you know, I found my uncle and my other uncle, and I didn't know my grandfather freed the slaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That came out of her asshole. <laughs> oh, wow. Like hair. And her box, and she had it on her belly, and her nipples. I remember I saw her nipple had a, uh, it, it looked like a magnified, you know when they magnify a hair? Yeah. Root? <laughs> right, right. That's what it looked like, but you could just see it. Like it was just a thick, like. You know when they do the, the new razor, when they have five blades yeah. and yeah. one pulls it up, the other one cuts right, it? Right, right. That's the, the, the cartoon the, image. The root. Right. Oh, God. How many hairs did she have on her nipples? She had like four on each nipple. But, uh, uh, rogue hair, nipple hair is not that rare, though. No. The animal animal shit's gross. But I get it. I see you, a hair on a nipple every once in a yeah, while. I, I get it, too, but here's the deal. Uh, wax it. That's yeah, too yeah, much for wax. You need chemo yeah. at that point. Just one, just take it all well, it's one thing if you're in a relationship and the time has passed and you're like, oh, honey, come on, you got a crazy nipple. But if it's early on, you got to get, you got to yeah, rid yourself of Get a of nipple, nipple transplant. Point. Get somebody else's nipples. I have a few Did straight. you still fuck her? Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> what do you think? I'm fucking a, a homo? Come on. <laughs> what do you <laughs> think? <laughs> fucking did it fucking. Of course I oh, fucked fucking that. fucking hammer kid. I fucked that Bit hairy of... monster. <laughs> Oh man! Fucking, oh it was, God! It was like fucking my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Would have exfoliated your balls. Oh my God! Hair. It was like fuck. It literally was like fucking moose pussy. That's oh. how. Hair. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Jesus! Hair up the asshole. Do you know moose? Moose actually eat pussy. Really? Yeah, moose what? eat pussy. 
Moose. They eat each other's pussies, no, no, not no. human Male pussies. Male moose lick. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, I yeah. thought like you could just get a girl and lay it down in Toronto and a moose would come and <laughs> eat her out. <laughs> Toronto. I went with Toronto. Toronto's <laughs> New York of Canada. <laughs> Whatever. Why don't you pick Moose Jaw Canada? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I, I haven't done that gig yet. <laughs> <laughs> How many is that seat? Yeah, Who books you, it? Um, <laughs> is it 2,000? 3,000? Yeah, moose eat pussy. Moose, wow. mo- a male moose will lick Is that pussy. true? Yeah. Do they 69? Google that, would you? Yeah. Um, That's yeah. amazing. No, they don't sick, They don't lie down. They have fucking ass. There's a picture with all four legs up. Yeah, in a snowbank <laughs> on the side of fucking 93. <laughs> no, they... It makes know, me respect moose a lot more. What? That's that, pretty great. Well, they eat yeah. the pussy to get it going. They lick the wow. pussy to get it going. And they fight first. They, the moose do, yeah. yeah. You're thinking of yeah. broke back again. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. That wasn't great. It wasn't great, but it wasn't Oof, bad. It, it was, wasn't as good as a red light district. It was one. a little forced. All right. <laughs> Why is it so dark in here? It's very creepy. Because we, we're in the day and it's winter and it's getting dark out. You've never been in here. You've been in yeah, here. But the did, shades are closed. If you had the shades open, the lighting is also weird. It's very red. You, and, but you've been in here during the day. Right. And you've been in here at night. Right. You've this never is, been here at this time. It's a little dusky, yeah. But I'm it's saying a, even the lighting is very... Yeah, but uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. Just, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, just... I don't know why you're picking up on that. It's All just, right. you know, just let it go. Well, I'm, I'm a little... I'm getting down. I was in a good mood, and now I'm getting sad. Could be the two beers I just slugged, but... Uh, why, why, are you, why are you not drinking anymore? No, I'm just saying it's a depressant. I haven't drank in a few days, though. That's good. Yeah, taking a few days off. Right, that's good. Why don't you fucking take 27 years off like me? That's... I don't know. Seems well, like a lot of work. Do you know? To, do you know to the day? Do you? Yeah, do you know the Voss so, stats? Yes, absolutely. I've been sober for twenty-seven years. Twenty-five. Fuck. No. So much. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Well, here's the thing. If I drank like these guys, those I, kids I, would have been dead on I, the. I subway. probably would have still drank if I could drink like these guys and not get into a fight every five seconds or if you want to rob something. You know what I mean? I these never guys. Play. I just cry. <laughs> yeah. If I cried <laughs> in the mirror. And uh, and fucked hairy chicks and watched Brokeback Mountain <laughs> when I got drunk. I would I would still be drinking. I watched Brokeback Mountain sober. That's even worse. I That's guess even it worse. is. Well, no, if I watched it drunk, then I want to fuck guys. Did you see 007? Yeah. Whew! Glad we changed that. I haven't. I'm not a big 007 guy, but I've seen Argo twice and it's tremendous. And I saw Flight. Uh, oh, I was oh Flight. Flight. Flight is about alcoholism, which I didn't realize. I thought it was like an action movie. That bummed you out, or was it good? It was good. It was fun. Argo is amazing. Argo is um. Hey, can you explain this to me, Argo? I'll try. Go ahead. The movie? Yes. Oh, oh I thought there was a follow-up question. No, there's a, I wanted you to explain the movie. Oh, it's a great, it's a great movie. Tell me the True movie. True story. Yeah. Uh, you know the uh, uh, the. Uh, there's no spoilers because it's been spoiled because it happened in life. So right, the U.S. embassy, you know, got taken over by the Iranians mm-hmm. back in '80 or '79, I guess, and uh, and uh, there was like six Americans escaped and they hid out in the Canadian embassy. They got stuck there. And they were like, we got to get these fucking people out of here. Uh, boobly boo. So the CIA came up with a plan. And the plan was uh, this guy, Tony Mendez, a.k.a. Ben Affleck. Should have said that the other way around. Uh, he went, uh, he went, uh, Tony Mendez is not we, also just, known as Ben Affleck. Can I just stop for you one second? You, you haven't found it. You're not going to get it. I couldn't find anything about the Okay. Oh well, I mean, I'm explaining Argo. Yeah, well, so yeah, he's explaining. Keep on the uh, moose pussy thing. Kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> Image search. Yeah, go ahead. Safe filter. So uh, they came. The CIA came up with this plan that they were gonna make a fake movie. They like created this whole movie in Hollywood and whatever, and then they uh, faked being like this Canadian film group to get them out. Of course, it worked. But the movie unfolds very dramatically, and it's it's humor. John Goodman's great, and Affleck is good. And, it's uh, really Alan Arkin is great, and it's a comedy it's too, right? It's, it's like a dark comedy-ish type thing, but uh, it's more dramatic. It's one of those like yeah, cheery, uh, oh, like, really? it's fucking great. It's it's fucking great. Yeah, now, do you think the Iranians like it? Uh, well, fuck them. They probably haven't seen it. Or whatever. I don't. <laughs> I, know. Wondered, I always wondered if these fucking other countries that you know I that we we make these movies about like where we're like yeah like russia we're like fuck russia i know they put the thing at the end well your country and my country could be one you know <laughs> i know he did that at the end right but i wonder it must be sucked for russia back then during the cold war to have them lose you know what i mean yeah to, to have a movie that's so popular but their country's shitting it 
I think sometimes I heard or read or something that they like changed the dialogue around to make it seem different. No shit. I've heard that, but that might be like a moose pussy fact that I just made up. <laughs> uh, well, that's like a thing like France. If you notice, it's a lot of um, some movies where we always take a shot at France. Right. It's because they always give us shit because in our action movies, it's it's um, we always we're always the heroes. Right. The rest of the world needs us. Right. To live from we're, the asteroid to the aliens. Yeah. We do that in our <laughs> history books too. Yeah. One of the worst <laughs> lines I've ever heard from an American film is uh, on Armageddon, and it's so st- like Bruce My Willis. My baby. Yeah. Armageddon. It. Yeah, but Bruce Willis is sitting around the table. The world's going to end, and yeah. Bruce Willis says, "The United States government just asked us to save the world. Anyone want to say no? Get out of here, fuckhead!" Like, <laughs> that's the stupidest line. Ever. I think the worst line in that was, uh, "And they don't want it to pay taxes forever." I think the worst line in that movie. <laughs> like what? The worst line in that movie is, "I don't want to miss a thing." <laughs> oh, God. That uh, that was a real tragedy for all of New England when Aerosmith went to shit. It was like, ah, oh, God. Now we're down to the cars and fucking. I cried during Armageddon. You did. Oh, I don't God. know why. I did. I cried. I'll admit it. You know, I don't know what type of. I'm, world. I'm gay I don't know for watching what... Armageddon. Fucking back, broke back mountain or whatever the fuck he that movie's called. I cried during Armageddon when Bruce Willis goes, "I'm gonna go to." Get I don't know why crying at an emotional move- moment with an emotional soundtrack, sound bed in the background with Liv Tyler almost crying is gay. That's I cried. What, what world do we live in when that's wrong? I cried during Argo. You should see it. Oh, the master is terrific too. I'm not watching The How Master. You, what oh, is that? it's hilarious. You'll love it. Oh, you fucking alt comic. What is anything. that? Paul Thomas Anderson. Or what Paul, is it about? Paul Thomas Anderson. Whatever the fucking guy's name is. It's uh oh, it's, it's new. Joaquin Phoenix and uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. What is it it's about? It's really fun. It's uh it's a real it's real weird. But basically, Joaquin Phoenix is uh, has like as a post uh, World War II guy, oh, post traumatic yeah. stress syndrome, mm-hmm. booze bag. He's crazy, mm-hmm. and then it's basically about Scientology. Like, uh, oh shit! I yeah. heard about this movie. Yeah, Philip Seymour Hoffman's like the leader of like a cult, and then Philip uh, Joaquin Phoenix is crazy. They're both crazy. Huh. They meet, and it's really, it's really hilarious. Like, it's like dark. Comedy. I don't even know if it's supposed to be funny always, but it's funny. Do you see a lot of movies? I see ones. Do? I like good movies, like movies that get good reviews and are supposed to be good. I like certain directors and whatnot. I, I don't wanna, see a lot of movies, but I do in this time of year is when all the Oscar contenders come out. I, I, I'm supposed to go see a movie tonight with my wife. I'm going to go see 007 after this. Go see Lincoln. I, tonight? It's out tonight? Now, is now, that, now. Is Lincoln out yet? What's that? That's from the preview. I've seen that preview like 70 <laughs> times. <laughs> from Lincoln? Daniel or, A. Lewis, yeah. Oh, I thought that was from 007. No. <laughs> ah, jeez. I, I, I do want to see Lincoln. I'm a big fan of Lincoln. I heard it's great. Linda, are you it's a fan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's out. <laughs> Nothing. It's out in some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Really? I missed it. Oh, really? I missed it. <laughs> oh, really? I missed it. Really? I missed it. Sorry. Sorry. That was first racist more. joke of the show. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I thought we were talking about the movie. Still, I didn't automatically assume racism just because an African American entered the room. <laughs> you should though. That's the problem. <laughs> That's Joe. a good point. You should. And my God, you look amazing. Yeah, she's Jesus great. Christ. So beautiful. Oh my, oh, my God, I can't even. <laughs> Has anybody I ever? I can't even like any, look at her without getting a thump. She's fucking amazing. That's you, what outrageous. Do you mean a thump? You don't want you don't want nothing to do a with thump? pussy. A thump in your no, mouth. No, but I can still appreciate good pussy. Like yeah, but you don't, you don't you uh, don't you don't fucking <laughs> look at her. Why are we like talking about her pussy? <laughs> I'm talking about how beautiful no, she but, looks. All of a sudden, it's say, about her pussy. When I say pussy, it means as a whole. You know what Jesus. I mean? Jesus. Oh, all right. Yeah, That's she's a great. little rough. Why do what women wear world championship belts? Because look at her waist. She's, She's the amazing. intercontinental champion. Yeah, why, my, wife, my wife has a lot of those big belts. Why do women have those fucking I am like the a, championship Hulk like a, Hogan belts? It's like a conveyor belt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> women wear these fucking goddamn let me throw produce in a basement belt. I would let you whip me with that, though. I would, that's what I would do. Why, like, why do women wear these big belts? What is that? What is it? A, sh- shape. Oh, it's it shapely. Okay, it well, you're already shapely. You're already shapely. Why don't you get a disco belt? I, love, I, really, I would love to wear a disco, disco belt. belt. That you look, I can't even look over Joe there. Joe List could no, have a disco belt. What's you that? You could do a disco belt. I don't even belt. know what a disco belt is. It's a little thin belt. A little thin belt. Ah, jeez. Oh, yeah. they're fucking great. A little tiny belt buckle. You have to really focus when you put it on. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if I'm into that. <laughs> Um, what are we talking about? Oh, talking Argo. About Lincoln. Argo. We're great. talking about Lincoln. Lincoln. I heard that. Uh, I've done this joke in three different places. I heard that right before when Wilkes Booth shoots Lincoln, he says, "Smile, you son of a bitch." That is a Spielberg joke. <laughs> Jaws. 
Uh, Can I tell you something? It killed on Facebook. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Should we all give you a thumbs up then? Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I love Jaws. I think Jaws is one of my favorite films. Smile, you son of a bitch. That's so good. (laughs) Yeah, Jaws was great. Jaws 2 was fucking okay. Jaws 2 wasn't that bad. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? When he got the electrical wire and he pulled... He's comparing it it to Ready to Rumble, though. So (laughs) he's got such a... And Armageddon tears around again. Fuck you. You don't cry at Armageddon this summer, how are you? No, I didn't cry. At the end, when the the father dies and he's going to save the world, and he goes, you take care of my grace. I get teary at that sort of stuff. I don't remember if I got teary at Armageddon, though. No. I cried at that. I cried at that. I absolutely cried at that. I cry at, like... I'm getting tired of hearing about this. (laughs) <laughs> I'll get out of here. I'll just jump <laughs> Good night, everybody. Right, take care. Yeah. Where's the handkerchief? Do we get rid of that? Joe List. No. No, I no, cry we... like X Factor. I cry when people audition and then dreams get crossed in front of them in front of the entire. I, world. I laugh. I no, cry when voice. People, no, that I cry, cry when people actually get their dreams granted to them. Yeah. It makes me no seriously. <laughs> right. It makes me. I I love when somebody actually wins in this business. Mm, when yeah. I see that on TV, I flip out because so, there's so much shit. In this business, there's so much shit, shit people that don't have to worry about money again, that have paid their place off, that are driving Mercedes, then they're just shit people, shit human beings that have it, that made it, and continue to make it, and continue to fucking strive. It fucking makes me sick. And it, it, it literally could, if I think about it enough, it will have a dark cloud of me and I'll, I'll just want to assassinate people. So when I see somebody actually who who deserves it, who's a good human being, actually succeed and get what we're all kind of chasing, I, I'll fucking tear up in a second. That's like when Tom Cotter was on, um, uh, was it America's Got Talent or something? Yeah, that fucked me that, up. Yeah. That, in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, because like, he was a good guy. Well, you can throw your tissues away, Bobby. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going there fast. Yeah, like, I, look, I didn't, I, like, oh, I, Billy Gardell, when, I, when he... When he got that show, I didn't cry, but I was so happy, so happy that a guy like that got a shot. Like this, somebody on the other side said yes to a guy like that instead of saying yes to these fucking scumbags. Yeah. These these people that treat people like shit. On I hear stories. I've witnessed it myself of these people that just constantly shit on people, that fuck with people, and they're all about being famous. All about having money. All about it wielding this power over fucking people. And um, and they continue to get shit. And they continue to strive. It makes me fucking ill. It really does. Mm. I, I cried at an NFL films clip last week about, about a player... Uh, Who from- sat on his balls on the bench? <laughs> it's a really cold <laughs> day. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand that after being in the snow for the first yeah, time last tough. week, I was like, you know what? That is really brutal. Um, it was a guy that quit NFL, like playing in the NFL for a year because his wife had cancer, and he shaved his head because she lost all of her hair. That's just stupid. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm well, they even had the NFL film, like, <laughs> really? they had the NFL films guy voice over the top. What do you, you know, think, the... fucking Anderson Cooper? <laughs> no, not really. Dick Wad. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Are you serious, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> it was a trap, Nick. I could see it coming. Yeah, um, yeah that shit I was ma- just so defensive about bringing it up. <laughs> I mean, look, that shit makes me teary, but I think the stuff that makes me cry, I cry at sappy movies. I'll cry. Rudy, you ever see Rudy? Oh my yeah, Rudy, God. I lose my shit. All right, where did you cry in that movie? Where is? Where did you cry? When he gets accepted into the school, fuck yes, and, and runs away. Yeah, yeah. Most people say it's when he amazing. runs out of the stupid tunnel. Oh no, I mean I cried when he's. Oh, the uh, the part that really makes me cry is the father when he goes, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that makes- go, Rudy. <laughs> that part, I'm like, forget about it. I, I shit my pants and smell it. That's how. Oh, I'm do crying. I want that to be my ringtone? Yeah, when he does that, that <laughs> scene, and then he's like. Uh, then he was yelling, "Your brother's going to Notre Dame." I'm getting chills thinking about it right now. That when he when he sits on that bench, when he sits on that bench and he opens up that letter for the last time, Oof. and he and Oof. he start, man, I don't know if the, I, I'll fucking get teared right now. I haven't seen about, it. I gotta see it. That's he, that's how I felt when I got Montreal, and then I got nothing out of it. But still, <laughs> I had that feeling. Yeah, because you know how hard it is. As a guy like you, Joe, you're fucking hilarious. Oh, thanks. I heard about you before I knew you, how oh, funny you were. Oh, that makes me feel good. You're fucking great on this show. You're a funny guy. I've seen you in videos. I've seen you in that Mauricio video. Oh, yeah, Hilarious. Yeah. I Boxing. cried when we made that. <gasps> right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I cry. Anytime Giannis gets anything, I cry. <laughs> but it's it's when when you get something like that. I 
look, man, I, I, I cry when I get stuff. I don't cry, but I get emotional because I look at people that get stuff and you're like, I don't. OK, I'm cool with that. Good right. for you. But I know that person's an asshole. I know that person treats people like shit. I know that person doesn't fucking doesn't give a fuck about what. he. And I know so I know me and other people that really need it and deserve it and would appreciate it that don't get it. I know guys on the road just fucking having to give up piece by piece their dream of be making it year after year until they're on some fucking ship somewhere or some fucking crappy gig in New Hampshire just to pay rent, to pay for their fucking kids' uh, back-to-schools clothes, you know? It's sad. It's fucking sad, man. So when people do make it, when I see people get something, I get so happy inside. When I when I see that on TV, I love it. I love like the voice I when they get the, the second shows. chance. Oh. Right. <laughs> you see the one with the girl that had um uh, what's the, I can't, can't say it, the what's the hair losing the disease alopecia. Like, alopecia. There's this girl and she was beautiful and she has this amazing voice and they had like the chairs were all like the back to them and she had this amazing voice. All turned around and saw that she was bald and you know what I mean she had kids and she was crying because she's like oh you could you didn't see uh, fucking it's really good right. I, 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 I thought, I thought you were going to say her hair fell out when they turned around. No. Yeah. She was so excited. No. Then they turned back. Which, which kept singing. Turn your phone off. It's buzzing. <laughs> which would be worse? Be Thanks, dad. Linda. <laughs> which your dad? Do you got to take it? Yeah, I might. Go ahead. Take it. Go. Which take would... it here. Take it here. Talk to him here. Oh, which which him would here. be worse? Being girl going bald or having Hi, too dad. much hair? Doing? The face and the thing. Are you, you're talking yeah. to your dad. Go going bald. No, no, no. Sorry. The other one. The other one. Put your dad on Let me talk to your dad. Yeah. Yeah. There's a. Do you guys have the greatest shave here? What? There's a there's like a a big fundraiser in Australia Shut every the door. year where people raise money and then guys shave all their hair off and girls will cut their hair as short as they can and it's to raise money to make people with cancer feel better like hey we're all in this together. We do stuff like that, but I don't know if it's that. It's called that. Yeah, oh, okay. maybe it's called something yeah, we're else. Not extreme like that. But I did a fundraiser. We'll a, we just do we'll it because we're good people. But you guys have like a whole thing, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna fight an alligator today. We d- we do it out of the kindness of our we're hearts. But if you guys have an event, that's fine. I'm gonna <laughs> jump in this river and paint an alligator pink today. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, right, don't worry about it. Your father, all right? All right? Yeah, he's all right. No, because he wouldn't be he wouldn't be able to hear you. His hearing's really bad. Is he doing some charcuterie today? No, no my my sister in law is a week overdue, so I'm waiting for the call to say when this baby's coming. Oh, for the coming. baby, yeah. really? Yeah. So he's like, I thought you said anyway. a week overdue for a second, and I was like, "What the hell is that?" She did. I did say that. We do do that. We're fucking oh, okay. secretly racist she's, on the show. She's weak overdue. Oh, Jew <laughs> is in Jew face. Said. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I don't care anymore. I cry at little kids all the time. I cry when I see kids get hurt on TV. I fucking cry. I don't. I don't know if I'm getting a soft. But I also get enraged and I want to violently murder people on the other end. Yeah. Right. Like, I, there's things they, that... They go hand in hand. Yeah. I, I, I think. Yeah. I have a similar thing. Yeah, certain stuff just enrages me and I want to fucking... Like, when they bring up, like, some guy went in and took out his whole fucking workplace, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, I, don't, I don't condone it. I don't think it's right. I think you should, you know, control that or seek help or... You know, get your shit together. Nothing's worth that. But I get it. I understand where somebody could be pushed to that limit and then they don't know how to put the brakes on and go, fuck this. I'm out. Right. This is not worth it. I understand where people can be pushed over because people fucking suck. Yeah, it's not yeah. that great a distance between crazy and sane sometimes, I think. Mm-mm. Like so, you know, when I'm walking through Times Square at, oh. at, at rush hour yeah. or I had the other day I had to get from, you know, Caroline's at six o'clock to like a... Grand Central, yeah. and you're trying to fight through. I would like to just fucking shoot everybody, yeah. but I'm, I don't have that thing. But I don't think it's that f- that great a distance mentally away from being like someone being like, I'm gonna get a gun and shoot all these people. Yeah, no, it's not like miles away. It's well, like here, six feet. Here's the thing: is that you you go into work all the time. You know how many people get shit on. At least we do what we love to do. At least, no matter, you know, I mean, well, some people, yeah, I know. But, you, <laughs> but here it is. You still have hope. Yeah, but, like, it's pretty, uh, it I should be if, dwindling I don't know if you've, like, now, had to, like, have a conversation with people lately, and they stink. Like, I, especially after the I'm hurricane. I'm doing it right now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Liz is back. Back in. Uh, especially after the hurricane, like, I had, like, the best people come in going, you didn't get to work for a week, and I would, like, take care of you, like, tip-wise. And then you get the fucking savages that just come in and go, you're not even a human being, like, leaving me two quarters on the table. And I'm like, 
And I, I, I over tip. I over tip yeah. here because in Australia you don't have to tip. I don't Tips not. People don't tip because you're scumbags. No, no you it's because everyone gets paid, paid more. Properly. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> again, fuck my mouth again. Again, uh, again. This is bullshit. This is not CNN. I'm just <laughs> fucking throwing stuff out. Some of it might work, some of it might not. But you don't have to fucking. Get the the hammer me. on CNN. <laughs> um, People are ridiculous. I had a guy. No, because they get paid more. <laughs> Bobby? No, no. I don't know. I had Bobby? to have an argument because I'm at the point now where I want to argue with everyone. I had a guy today go to me. Um, he goes, I want to. He goes, make sure that the plate is hot. And if that plate isn't hot, I will be sending it back. And I just want to be like, I want to fucking punch yeah. you in your face, cockhead. Here's the thing, though. Cockhead. Is, cockhead. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Here's the thing. That point that you're bringing up is mm. a good point, but it has nothing to do with the point that I brought up. Oh wow. Which is that <laughs> we all we all. We we all follow our dreams, no matter if you have to wait tables or whatever. You still are going to do this or a show. You know, uh, we're all f- doing what we love to do. Basically, we have this dream or this hope or this yeah. thing that we're still chasing. Some people don't have anything they're chasing. Some people they don't have a dream. Some most a lot of people go to work to pay rent to eat. Yeah, right. to survive. Some of them haven't even written a book that they can. Get on Amazon.com called Check. <laughs> Some people haven't even done that. Where do you get the book? Amazon.com. But where, by oh, clicking on the link on your website. Oh, you mean Riotcast.com. If you yeah. went to Riotcast.com, <laughs> just click went to You Know What, dude, and clicked on the Amazon link to I'm buy just cheap, throwing out just to, you'd be helping out this podcast. I can't yeah. speak for the audience, but I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably Nick should've... is what we call a suck in Australia. <laughs> a massive suck? suck. And if you like video games, you can go to my Riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly Live. I love video games. And hit Gamefly or go to Gamefly.com slash YKWD. And have you get a free uh, two week <laughs> trial membership? And if you don't like doing this at the end of the show, we can do it right now in the right. middle. <laughs> slip it in so you can't avoid it. <laughs> right? You can't hit stop because you don't know when we're coming back. We can come back to topic right now. Like I following our dreams, or we yeah. could just go donate at the uh, donate <laughs> button. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean we we all love what we're doing, but you think about the guy that goes to work, has a couple jobs to pay the rent, and his fucking wife doesn't bang him his boss is an asshole and then he's getting bumped into and fucked with these stupid kids on the train are yelling and <laughs> screaming seriously yeah. if i had to do this every day i'd have to leave the city right i'd have to go i can't be around walking through times square walking around the city can be so fucking annoying because nobody gives a fuck you run into the shittiest of people Especially in Times Square, because not only do they don't give a fuck, but they also don't know a fuck. They're just like (laughs) walking sideways and taking pictures of street signs and fire hydrants and pictures of cops where you're like, we have the most... Mate, it was the biggest the billboard I've ever seen, all right? So right. just let me take a fucking photo. And Sorry. <laughs> People taking pictures of, like, trash barrels and shit, which I do when I go away. I'm, like, in the Midwest taking pictures of, like, a piece of corn. I'm Did like, hey, have, look at that. So I'm have, like an asshole when I'm there. You have an Instagram to take care of. What but, are you talking uh, about? You have to throw some filters on that and oh, get some views. Right. I don't have Instagram. I think Instagram is cheating. It's bullshit. People are like, Why? look how cool this picture is. And you're like, well, you fucking doctored it up. I love it. I love it. Oh, you know why I love it? You're dumb. I, I, no, first of all, hey. you're right. I do have you on this podcast. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> so I'm hey, <laughs> zuzzing. I I love Instagram for the simple fact that it does that. It, it shows how easy that stupid fucking That's art is. That's a good is. point too. Here's the thing. I can. <laughs> I took this photo that uh, you know me. You know me. Middle aged women fucking have nothing and then they go to photography I'm gonna be a photographer and they get a camera and they take some stupid photos and blow it up really big hey Linda's right here man (laughs) (laughs) the people that we have on the show actually bust their cunts yeah. taking photos of stupid people's faces like us <laughs> lighting it working it out yeah. and she's in here with a camera and that's what you get and Phil and, and gay fucking what's his name gay Joe please don't let me say fucking just in the middle I gotta stop swearing gay Phil all, gay Joe what's his name yeah gay Joe and gay there was Joe. gay Sloan as well these guys actually are working their asses off all like very we're, attractive we're me. doing comedy Okay, the same thing they're doing. But these people step into it and want to have a, uh, a showing. You know, like, fuck you. So I love Instagram because it shows <laughs> how easy it is. I'll take a photo with a f- camera phone and put a filter on it, and it looks like something that should be hanging in a museum. You should... <laughs> 
<laughs> Go fuck yourself and your dreams. Fucking middle-aged women, divorced assholes. So, I dear, fuck? a female, dear, Ray, a touch of golden sun. Right, thank, you. thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. That just calms me down. <laughs> oh. I'm in a bad mood today, Joe. Oh, all right. Sing That's to fair. Him. I, I'm in a very uh, angry mood yeah. today. It's, um, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I've been in a shit mood all week. I'm in a very shitty mood. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's this time of year. But you should take your own advice. You're 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 following your dreams, and you get your dreams and the whatever bullshit you just said. <laughs> Apply that <laughs> inwardly. You know that, you, was, for, you that gotta... was for these two assholes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't for us. <laughs> uh, right. Well, Jesus. I mean, they're, they're both making more you're than still I. In am. It. You're still in it. They're making. You're making more. Yeah, but they have. T- they have waiting tables. Nah, That's true. Not. I watched. He's I'm not. joking. Ah, Excuse me, Anderson Cooper. I am not. <laughs> I watched Brokeback Mountain today. I'm living the life. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. I, I've been in a miserable mood lately. I, I just don't know why. You know what I think is this limbo I've been in, waiting for these shows to mm. maybe get picked up, maybe not. Maybe I'm just sitting here waiting for a no, which is just sucky. Yeah, man, That's a good name for a book. Sitting here waiting, waiting for no, just waiting for a no, waiting for a no, and it's like your autobiography. Will be my. It's not as. It's, it's not as good as. I said as, it. I said it. I know, but you have success. Yeah, but I don't have anything. I'm sitting with you <laughs> at five o'clock. You've got a cardboard cutout and uh, yeah. Yeah, a that, uh, legions of fan. How much is a legion? <laughs> it's not fifty three thousand. Let's put it that way. What? That's a that's a big legion. That's not a that's not a lot of legions. Mate, you've got a DVD CD called Just the Tip that you can get on Amazon.com. Not a lot of people don't have that. You know? <laughs> yeah, but you can buy it from my website on Amazon and make me yeah. money, you money, and yeah. Amazon money, and it makes everybody happy. Oh, you ever hear the website yeah. rooftopcomedy.com? You can buy Joe List so far, no good? <laughs> very funny, very funny CD. Oh. Um, way, you can funny. see me waiting tables downtown. <laughs> can I grab one of those as well? Yeah, of course. Cheers, Jen. I am... Um, yeah, well, there you go. That's what that that that's the uh, that's the end of the show when you guys run out of beers. Oh. That's what we do now. We put enough beers to end the show. Oh. <laughs> haven't refueled the beers though in a while because well, we haven't had fucking Joe. Yeah, I haven't. And been Dan's there. been off the juice. Yeah, we haven't had Joe in a while. We haven't. Off we just the had juice. Water and what is he? Tea. A fucking steroid <laughs> baseball yeah, thing? I'm a little slow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm struggling. No, sure I mean, I've I'm, I'm def- been the funniest in the show so far, but I'm struggling. <laughs> right? I, mean, uh, I love that. You got a sore back right now because you've been carrying it? I yeah. do have a sore back. I do have a sore back because I carry all my tension You're in my back. You're trying to come in your own horrible... watching Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> 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 trying to flip your legs over your head in a tub? <laughs> I've come in my own face before doing that. Right. I'm not doing it. that, but sh- sh- a, a good open? shot. I think Jay Okerson has a great bit about it, so I should stop my story here. What is it? I mean, I don't know the bit, but I remember watching it and being like, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, Jay's a Jay's a, supposed to be a very good, dirty comic, right? So funny, just yeah, he, a really funny guy. He is right. Oh, unbelievably funny. Do I, do I, sometimes I sound sarcastic because I'm talking like this or whatever. Well, you were, I saw him at Just for Laughs Sydney. Yeah, a few weeks ago, and he was unbelievable. He was, was in Australia a, a few weeks ago. Yeah. So when I opened for your mate Billy Burr, that's, that's another thing. I I don't get shit. I don't Come get down anything. to Mel- Melbourne Comedy. I Festival, get mate. nothing from anybody. <laughs> I'm, my my fucking, you know, I'm on the road all the fucking time. I'm busting my ass, and wish, I get nothing. I wish you could go. I know down he down. never fucking compliments my comedy. What are you talking about? I I, I come to comedy all the time. I have pictures of you on my first notebook. We talked about this. Remember? You're one of my yeah. my idols. I this is a thrill to be here. I appreciate being here. Yeah, I just wanted to hear. I think, it. Yeah, you're one of the funniest guys I've ever met I in my just, life. I, I can't even believe it. we're friends. We're really not friends. We don't even talk outside of here. But whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, don't even, uh, I mean, you don't need to sing songs, Kelly. Just compliments. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and you know what else he likes? When you call him to invite him somewhere, and he gets the chance to say no. I do like that. that. Talking about me? Oh, no, I like when you never call me. Oh, speaking of uh, inviting places, we're running out of Patriots games. I don't know if you remember that back in August when you're going to have the Boston guys over to watch the Pats. (laughs) We got like like three games left. (laughs) Well, all right, so let's do this. When are we doing it? Well, I'm away most Sundays. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you, dude. I'm only kidding. I don't know. I mean, we got to look at the schedule. Boo, boo, boo. It's your house. Schedule? I'm, I'm hooking it up. Kelly, hook it up. NFL.com. Pat's game, my house. NFL.com. Pat's game, my you. house. I thought it was going to be Yumi, Gullman, Dane. I thought Gavin was going to be there. I'm, we were going to have Dane, uh, Johnny Damon was going to be there. And yeah. who else? You know, John Kerry. I don't know. I'm trying to name. John Kerry. I'm trying to name Massachusetts people. Uh-huh. I um well let's do this let's let's have this party uh, we need to become better friends You're right I think we should step it up let's get our pants off I see think, what happens I think we should spit in each other's hands 
and come in each other's faces. You don't want to touch my hand, but uh, <laughs> how's the beer, by the way? All right, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you'd, you'd love, as a drinker, if you come and do gigs in Australia. Oh, stop trying to sell this shit. I would love to go to Australia. Okay. Man, if you come to Australia. What happened to me? You this, didn't even this, get me there. This Man, happens to me all the time, drinking. though. It started People, with drinking. This, is, this happens to I me all the time. I want you to come to Australia, Bobby. You know, football, though, so because of the time difference, the 1 p.m. games here start at 4 a.m. Monday morning. Oh, that's in fun. In Australia, on the East Coast. So, like, yeah. we have Super Bowl Monday. Keep talking. I got to oh. piss. You Charles, get up. One of my favorite quotes ever, Charles Schultz. Don't worry about the world ending today. It's already tomorrow in Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. That's very nice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, Joe, man, if you come down, though, it's great. Yeah. I would love to, but... Super Bowl this, Monday is good fun. This happens to me all the time. People are like, uh, hey, people would love your material in London. I'm like, but how do I get there? How do I book the gig? You just pay for yourself to get over there. No, I got you a don't. You, Gross. It's a you could get... There's... Don't there's I need a visa and a W-4 and a car and a fucking... I don't know if you a do. A shot. I don't I'm, know. I'm here on holiday. Shot. And yeah, I'm enjoying my holiday day. so far. You just do it the same way that me and Nick have done it. Like we just you no, just you get can a line up. And go. You can line up a run of gigs down the east coast at the different clubs in the big cities, and right then they all yeah they all chip in to get the visa and pay for your flights and all that. I would it's love a good to run. Do that. You're probably over there for two two and a half weeks doing the east coast. Then you can go west coast to do Perth if you want. The shit of the west coast. I thought. Perth, Pardon my ignorance. On the West That's Coast, like, yeah. yeah, but in between is like fucking bananas. Fuck it's all. just hell, right? Yeah. In the middle, down the south, right in the middle, yeah. uh, there's a city called Adelaide. Oh, wow. I've never even heard of that. Yeah. But they're the, mo- the most of the cities, I think like 90% of our population or 95% yeah. is on the East Coast. Boring. <laughs> I'm Great. back. My fucking coast. Aussie geography. <laughs> I am so sorry, Joe. Welcome, welcome back. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just. I'm I, I apologize. You know, I've been listening to the shows the last couple of weeks too. I've been so off, I'm so dribbly. Yeah, so f- unfocused and annoyed. Well, that's weird. Man, you're trying to have gone, a kid as well, so, though. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you that's know what? That's, that's stressful. That's a, uh, <laughs> I do miss Joe. You know what? I do miss the. I we have we have a lot of different people on, and I do like the synergy that we create when we have the same people on uh, a few weeks in a row. Love uh, a good synergy. It it actually does. You get a vibe going, but uh, you know, people. I can't hold people to. Uh, I'm not paying people to be here, so I can't. You know, if you're gonna go do a gig, and you and Dan had to take off and do some shows, and you know, so I'm glad you're back, Joe. Yeah, um, thanks. Yeah, dude. What would you What'd you say, fucking Roger Paul? <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say? He doesn't know my name. I was on Roger, here. Roger Cody. He said. Uh, he said. <laughs> apparently, I look like a, a stunt double. I look like a stunt double in yeah. what a big great yeah, action you, movie. You're not like a star or an actor. You're a no. stunt guy. No, I and I that. look like every bartender in New York City. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, any bartender. Yeah. <laughs> See what? That. Well, yeah. What? Um, is it stressful trying to have a kid? You said you're. This quite is w- this is the point of my life I'm at right now. Well, this year, if you look back, I had a book. I, I became a published author. I had a book come out. What's it called, and where can you get it? It's called Cheat. You get it on uh, Amazon. Fuck great. But, um, That's cool. <laughs> you know, we we sh- I shot. Uh, a pilot and I'm trying to have a baby but this is all there's a lot of limbo life I've been in you know where right. you're just sitting there and now it's like you know I got it you know having to when you do all this stuff and you build it up and you work hard and you after you do it there's if if you don't have something to go on to right after yeah. it's kind of like you collapse at the finish line yeah like oh fuck and then you're like what do I do now now I got to go back to work. I got to go pick something else up and, you know, okay, let me go do my, I want an hour. I think the next thing I want to do is get an hour and film it this year. So now I got to go through my act. I got to, I got to, you know, fucking brush it up, polish it, get these jokes that are okay and make them great, you know, cut down the ones that I think are great and really see if they're great and, you know, I got to do all this shit. I got to, you know, now I got to go back to work, which is a hard thing to get it. Now I'm overweight too. You know, I gain all this fucking weight. It's it's a nightmare. And now the winter comes. I get depressed when the sun goes down at five o'clock. I remember uh, there was a comic that used to come to Boston. He came. Me, me, and fucking Patrice and and Billy were there one night. What was his name? Shit. Um, John Priest. Do you know him? None of you no. guys know him. 
This is what sad this business is. It's sad. This guy came to Boston, Knicks one time, went on. He goes, it's dark out at quarter to five. It's what, what the hell's going on? It's dark out. It's quarter to five. That's all we remember from this guy. But he <laughs> was that Seinfeld? I, no, it was oh. it was before Seinfeld. What's the deal? Yeah, that's exactly. It's so dark outside. It was very very much. What's that? It's a gnome. Is it gnome? Yeah. Gnome. Come in here, gnome. Hey, mate. No Can you please? I'm in no fucking mood either. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about no moods. What happened? Didn't you see the election returns? What happened? Obama won. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Come here. Come here for a second, would you? you Come here for oh, a boy. second. What are you going to do, really? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is uncomfortable. <laughs> Sit down at the fucking thing. Sit over here. So here's the deal. It's like this whole thing. Life is like trying to have a kid. You trying and you trying and nothing happens and nothing happens and nothing happens and then you're waiting and you're waiting and then it happens but then it could die. You have to wait. Oh, Jesus. And you got to wait and wait and wait before you tell anybody because if it fucking dies, then everybody thinks you're having a kid. Then you go tell them it fucking died and you got to flush it down the toilet. So you got to keep waiting and waiting. And then once you tell, you can tell people that you can have a kid, right? Then all of a sudden you got to wait and see if it's got, you know, deformities or Down syndrome. And then you got to make that decision to flush it then. Because do you want a kid that, you know, is licking pennies or do you want a kid that's fucking making pennies? <laughs> you're the one who should be licking pennies. Either, <laughs> Licking, pennies. licking I pennies. I yeah. don't like that. That's the fork in the road in life. You can either lick pennies or make pennies. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> well, the guy, he's a Jew. <laughs> I they both sound okay to me. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I'd rather make them, but you know, licking them is not bad either. It's um, yeah. I'm gonna. Sh- I get into a shit mood at this time of year. This one, it gets dark out at quarter to five. But this time of year is not bad because you have Thanksgiving and it's fall and football. January, February, that's when it's really a nightmare, don't you think? Because then it's I getting think, dark at here's, five. Here's There's no thing football. Too. It's cold. Here's another thing, too, that you'll understand as you <laughs> as you progress in your career, too. No, you will. You will. Kelly, you won't, but you two will. <laughs> when you become a headliner, and I've been, I've been home. I headline. For, I've, but I've been home for three days in the last two months, Okay. When you get older and you get a house and you get a chick and you, you want to be home, you actually want to go home and you can't. You have to go out on the road because you have to make this money. It gets a little, you get a little ketty. You get a little fucked up. You're in hotel rooms. You're talking to yourself. Like I said today, you're having fights on the train with six different people in your own head. You know, I fought six people in my own head today coming here. You start doing that shit because you're alone a lot. All of a sudden, it's like... Fuck! What? And then, you, and then you know, you get home for a day, and you're like, "Oh, thank God!" And then you gotta go. I've He's, been doing that for years without any money. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing, dude. Yeah. You don't have. I lost four thousand dollars coming here. You guys, <laughs> but you have no roots. You have no roots. When you get roots, when you get a chick that you love and you might marry, or you move in with, and you buy a house or I an have apartment. A, I have a chick, but you well, lost me after that. But when you buy a house and you get an apartment and you get your bed and you guys pick, shit, and all of a sudden. You're in that, there's that stage of life that you'll hit where you'll enjoy being home. I was in your spot. I used to fucking never go home. I was at the cellar until four in the morning, hanging out, looking for the next person to talk to, the next laugh, the next fucking cry, the next, you know, fight, or the next fuck, all the time. I never wanted to go home. I, I, I can't wait to go home now. I love my house. I love my chick. I, we go for round. It's almost to the point where it might be too bad, where I got to start, you know what, let me go back to work and hang at the cell a little bit and hang out a little bit because you can get a little, I don't want that to happen either. I don't want to be home with her all the time and become a normal asshole, you know, <laughs> fucking doing gardening and shit. You lose your mojo that way, Robert. You can lose your mojo, but I think you can actually gain a different mojo and a more powerful mojo if you do, uh, if, you, if you enjoy your life that you've created. You get like a Ray Romano mojo. Yeah, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I said I mean, it. Like, I mean, like your your routine to become about you having kids and stuff like that. Yeah, but you have a kid. I mean, how how fucked up was it trying to have a kid? It's terrible. No, no, no. It, was, it was easy. Really? Yeah. You're an asshole. She's Puerto Rican, and you, we've been through this. Uh, that's true. That's true. I forgot. She was double. It was pregnant. a lot harder to all those years of not keep not getting yeah. her pregnant. She actually got pregnant. She got pregnant while she was pregnant. <laughs> 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 the baby had a baby. We hedged our bets. <laughs> Babushka dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the Russian dolls. Yeah, I know there. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, know. I, <laughs> I was being, I was joking, being serious. <laughs> oh, man. I, it's just I've been in a fucking. It's it's a. 
God damn it, dude. I don't. Maybe it's this time of year, too. I don't fucking Changing like it. Changing seasons always makes people Man, get nutty. You'll, you'll this, love the baby more. What? You'll love the baby more because it, it was so hard to, to, to do it when you, when you finally do have a baby. Yeah, but this is scaring the shit out of me, too. Okay, now you have a baby. Now you can't. Right now, okay, if everything fails, if everything goes away, right? Say fucking my career shits the bed. They find out about the fucking kid stuff, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no wonder you don't want anyone to see what's like on that, that laptop. I don't like that that didn't shock any of you assholes. You guys are like, right, right. They thought, Where are you? <laughs> He's talking about that before. It comes with the steak stuff. No, anyway, what? I was the kid in that circumstance. Yeah. <laughs> I blew a guy for a steak a long time ago. You, you blew a guy? Easy for a steak. It was for a steak. I was oh, just okay. blow guys. Yeah, I'm not gay. <laughs> I did it for the first time. I did it, that I did it for substance. Sounds weird. Is this really true? Yeah, when I was a kid. What, what does that mean? Like, how old were you? That's traumatic, Robert. Two. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was in a crib. It was 27. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I forget. I was in first grade, something like that. Mm. First grade, second grade, I don't know. I was in a closet. I put it in my mouth. The blowjob's not weird. The appreciation of steak when you were in second grade <laughs> yeah. is what's Dude, really interesting. I never tasted steak. was so good, man. Those Did they hibachis. taste similar, the blowjob and the no, steak? No, the fucking no. blowjob tastes like a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? You got molested. Do you, what are you talking about? Do you, rem- you got remember. raped by a rabbi. Do you remember? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not. One second. Do you oh, remember yeah. the taste of the of the the penis? Yeah. Do you remember the it taste? Like, of, it tastes rem- exactly like my penis. Do you remember the steak? Yes. No, really? Yeah, well, I remember the sauce. He put the A1 on it. Man. That's why I love A1 Your sauce. Eyes just sparkled. And, and cock. <laughs> So, so you blew him and then he took you out to a restaurant? No, 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 no. No, he's not a date, you homo. So how did he, what did he give you? A, he <laughs> gave you a, he just a butcher. You a t-bone? He, gave, he gave you a gift certificate to Tad's. He, he, he was a kid too. He wasn't a guy. It wasn't like a grown, it wasn't an English teacher. I wasn't trying to get a <laughs> fucking better story, grade. I don't want to see that this story is full of holes. We've, uh, we've no, heard I'm it before. <laughs> I'm desensitized. I'm sorry. No. Just one hole. So a kid, it was, it was a, a kid had a steak. Well, he was cooking. He was a nerd kid. A first he, grader was cooking a steak? No, he wasn't yeah. a first grader. He was older than me. You blew a nerd? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, was before, this was before Gizmodo. Now I know you're lying, Robert. <laughs> yeah, I remember he was a real nerdy kid. And um, I was hanging out. I was pretty much molested, if you want to know the truth. I mean, I didn't know what a fucking steak or a dick was until that day or one of those little hibachis and I remember he had a little hibachi on the roof and um, he uh, yeah he fucking that's it yeah put it in my mouth how old was he um, he was f- young, forty-seven. Good-looking young. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a civil fox. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Guy. He was a civil up. engineer. Post-pubescent. Did he have pubes? Was was no good could question. He ejac- could he ejaculate? No. No ejaculation. So you were bad. That's not so bad. Good looking cock, though. Remember Hmm. that. It was nice. It's nice to know they had appreciation for a good looking cock. I remember, I don't think he had pubes. He was young, too. He wasn't like molestation. I think it was that exploration shit more so than molestation. Because I don't think he, I think he's a kid. I think, because I I had to go through this in rehab. Because, you know, the guy in rehab brought me in the room one day and he goes, I want you to tell me the most deepest, darkest secrets you have that you've been carrying around your whole life that you'll never tell anybody. And I came clean and I said, this fucks me up because I'm a f- I, 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 I'm not gay. I don't want to be with him. And this happened to me. And he goes, really? And he goes, he brought in four dudes. He goes, you know, Kyle, Jake, and uh, Danny, and, and Michael. He goes, have you ever fucking blown a guy? Have you ever blown a guy? Have you ever blown a guy? They're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, they, uh. yeah that's a natural thing. Kids, do, kids experiment. With, you don't know sexuality. You don't know a vagina or a penis at that age. So... You don't know what's gay or what's not gay at that age. And you have a dick and, you know, kids do that a lot. A lot of kids do that. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Mm. It's true. Mm. It's true. Oh it's a fact. At least that's what I'm, I'm fucking telling people. Yeah, I, I, don't want, <laughs> I don't want to disabuse you. I'm, I'm telling people that until someone goes, yeah, I sucked a dick. I did it. Nick? You suck. No. You you play with a man's penis. No way. When you were a kid, no. Because he's Australian, they don't yeah. do that. They jerk off alligators over there. <laughs> they, Sorry, well, you you were molested. What yeah. happened to you? I was. Hold on, that's my wife. I was not molested. Yeah, you were molested. I got to really take. You were molested. You're not walking away from it's this. Juanita. It doesn't matter. I wasn't molested. The yeah, ra- you were. Uh, uh, the rabbi uh, sucked ch- your penis. Tried to molest me, <laughs> and I and I stopped him. Well, how'd you stop him? You I, didn't stop him. I, I, <laughs> well, I don't, really, I don't really remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, 
<laughs> judging, you know, by the, the 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 clues, I was able to 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 the clues afterwards. The stains uh, on I'm, your little panties. Yeah, you know, a little forensic <laughs> test I did, and the slides and the, the black light. I don't. I don't think. The I think smell I, of your I, breath. I, I think I stopped him. I think I stopped him. The, why you can't go near a clean tub because the smell <laughs> makes you throw up? No, he 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 was. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell this. <laughs> what happened? He, Just he brought my my. Go ahead. My father, you know, hadn't. Um, Tur- oh, thank fu- God. No, 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 no. Uh, Fuck you. Hold on. Let me talk. Uh, okay. h- hello. I got to call you right back. Okay, He's telling us the molestation uh, story. Right. That's his wife. My father uh, yes. hadn't hadn't. Uh, he decided at the last minute that I ought to be bar mitzvahed, and he hadn't uh, kept up with Hebrew school, so he. So this was to punish you. That's what the Jewish so, no, people do so, to the kids. Yeah, so he called the the, the, the temple and they sent a tutor. To and, suck your dick. Yeah, to, to, to tutor <laughs> me out, to get me ready for my bar mitzvah. So, well, uh, you learned something. So. <laughs> right. Joe, get off your phone, you fucking chowder head. I'm just checking the time. It's I gotta boring. Get to it's a boring story. Right? Uh, You're right. You're no, I don't know. I, it's not a boring story. Get off your phone. People don't like... People, he's telling a story. You're on your phone. I know, but I gotta get the other thing. I'm listening to the yeah, story. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna listen to everything. So, so, uh, so he, um, so my father decides this is gonna be uh, date night for him and my mother, I guess. So they they leave me at home. Some with random the, rabbi with the tutor. But you know, this is a time when when sexual molestation was not on the radar. People didn't realize yeah. that it was really something to worry about. Right. So the the guy told him, "Did you know what it means to be Jewish?" Yes. Yes, it, I know what it do means. Do you know what it means to be cut or he uncut? Says, do you really know what it means? I said, well, you know, it means that your parents are Jewish. You're Israel. But he goes, well, what else? I'm like, I don't know. He goes, Jews are circumcised. I said, oh, yeah, I knew oh, that. Oh, no way. And right. he says, do you know where they're circumcised? And he, I said, well, I kind of know. But, you know, actually, I'd never seen an uncircumcised penis at that time. So I really didn't understand the whole thing. Right. I just knew that I had been circumcised. Mm-hmm. So he says, where's your room? And I said, it's upstairs. So let's, let's go up to your room. Right. Well, so, at least he's a gentleman. So yeah, so he, so he takes me up to do my it room, the, right there, and he uh, he says, "Sit down." So I sit down on the bed. He says, "Now lie back," yeah. and I I lie back. Yeah, and, and that's where I don't remember. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting hard. <laughs> no, so so um, thump, thump, thump. so he starts to undo my belt. We had a belt. I had a belt. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I said <laughs> I, I said I, I don't I don't know what I said I said I don't want to do this or something like that. I or I yeah. started whining or something. I don't know whatever it is. Right. And he just backed off. Really? Yeah, and then he went on with the with the Hebrew school lesson. Really? Yeah, and wow. then when I got home, when they your parents when my, when got my home. father got home, right? I told him the story, right? And he got uh, mad at you that didn't, you didn't suck his cock. No, and and I told him, and I didn't, I still didn't even realize what was I didn't realize I'd always been right. Oh, I you just, almost got banged. I would just didn't like. The experience that I had, this guy trying to take yeah. my pants down, right. you know, I didn't sign up for that. If, if, that, if that's what bar mitz- <laughs> if that's what being bar mitzvah meant, I didn't want to be bar mitzvah. Is this how I learned how to read Hebrew? I just undo my pants. Gotcha. All right, let's go. So I, I just I remember what my father said when I told him the story. He says, "Next time you hit him with your purse." <laughs> that's pretty funny to tell. that's funny to tell a kid that just got molested <laughs> that's what he said to what me the next time you hit him with your purse you t- <laughs> yeah little uh, bitch <laughs> I wish I'd have known that I wish I had your dad I guess I guess that was my father's way of not alarming me or something yeah. or he knew nothing. I don't I don't know I wish I had your dad it would have saved me uh, the, the food addiction problem I have now <laughs> and the bad breath phobia I have Nothing from sucking a dick. <laughs> oh, <wow>. I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, too, I'm zoning out because I'm, I'm in the middle of something serious with my wife. Okay, well, listen, this gnome, thank you for stopping on and telling us Thanks your molestation story. Thanks for sharing Are you all right? Is everything all right? Oh, I don't know, Robert. You know, the, the fucking storm is, is killing us. Obamacare is killing us. It's, it just uh, happened. It's not going to be killing you already. Well, because we lost the busiest day of the year at the uh, bars around the corner. Yeah. Oh, really? What was that? Halloween. 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 Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Halloween is worth two New Year's Eves. No shit. Really? Yeah. In, in a bar. So why don't you promote a Halloween party? Why don't you do, a, since, you know, seriously, and I could be out of my mind, why don't you promote a Halloween party since everybody missed Halloween? We're doing a Halloween party at, the, at all the clubs. You come dressed up and you get some free whatever and you'll fucking sell the place out. And you know what? Everybody might pick up on that. I don't think it would work. It's not well, work. I'm glad it's not, that I'm glad that you take a chance. Would you would you <laughs> would you dress up in the middle of? Uh, I saw someone dress up last Saturday that they were going to a party that 
got canceled because of the thing. Yeah, well, would you but do it? But they look silly. No, I wouldn't All right, how it, about you don't dress up? Just say, fuck it. We're doing a Halloween party because we missed Halloween. Come down. You guys, Halloween, we're doing Halloween over because we missed it. Fuck Sandy, and we're doing Halloween, and you just throw it. Nah, see what happens. Nah, my my, uh, my gut tells me that that won't work. First of all, your the, gut has fucking rabbi jizz in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why don't you get your purse and beat it? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Listen, uh, I love you guys. You got your podcast number. First of all, is my new favorite show. Honest to God, it has become so good over the last couple of weeks. I, I don't know if you know the, and you should. Have, well, you I gotta can, get. I can talk you, about that. You here. gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Typical yeah. fucking businessman. You got to get Joe on. Mm. Joe is hilarious. Oh, thanks, I don't buddy. know if you know. First of all, as a comic, why he's not working here, I have no idea. He's uh, Nick DiPaolo's I, I opener. Worked, I worked here briefly. Yeah. All right. Then we know now. He he failed. But <laughs> like, oh, was six years, shut, Joe. That was like six years ago. Yeah, right. dude. Let me do the talking. Why don't you Sorry. shut your face, you Christ humble Joe. twat? Uh, yeah. Fucking idiot. You really are just dumb. Well, I'm trying to set you up for a whole new round. And you're like, I did work here, but they stopped using me. You're not me. supposed to remember you six years ago. That's the point. Sorry. <laughs> so he's, he's, so, so uh, you talk should, to Esty. Well, no, you, you should have him on your show. He's hilarious. He's on my show all the time. This is Joe. I'm very uncomfortable. Yeah, you, should, you should be with accolades. <laughs> <laughs> See what happened? That's how my, that's, that um, was a, This guy right here, fucking don't even worry. He's going back to Australia. Yeah, don't yeah. I saw him uh, yesterday. He was here. He, he was here for the podcast yeah. uh, yesterday, yeah. and you didn't show up. I guess he wasted his whole day. No, we showed up. Oh, I was supposed, no, he I was showed up early. Don't worry. Yeah, way, way early. He was way early. Oh. But first of all, your show has gotten so much better. You're getting these guests on every week. Last week, you had the, uh, Ryan the screenwriter. It was fucking amazing show. And the week before that, you had uh, Combs. Yeah, right? Alan Combs. Alan and, Combs. And this week, we had uh, uh, Barry Sears, the inventor of the Zone Diet. Get the fuck I know he tried to call me to get me on it. I'm like, why do you want? Oh, I get it. Fat oh, joke. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey. Fat joke right there. Oh. Yeah. But how, how did that go? It was, uh, it, you know, the thing is, you know, remember there was this article in Time Magazine with the with the kid breastfeeding. Are you really looking at everybody in this room and going, do you remember? I remember article? that. No, we got a lot I'm of trying attention. trying to forget it. I, 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 I get that. And it was this Dr. Sears. <laughs> atta- I remember it too then. Attachment, <laughs> attachment parenting was this hot issue. I attachment, I remember and, that, and I'm yeah. a, so I asked Meredith, the, the booker, to get me Doctor Sears. Mm-hmm. But it turns out the guy who does his own diet is also named Doctor mm-hmm. Sears. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, hilarious! So she books the wrong Doctor Sears. So now I don't want to insult Doctor Sears. I have no interest in diet, right? <laughs> yeah. You weigh oh, a buck ten. So, wet. so Doctor <laughs> Sears is on his way, and I, la- I realize this this is not the attachment parenting Doctor Sears. This, so I said, oh shit, you know, I got I got to pretend that I'm interested in diet. So I'll say I'll get somebody fat to be on the. So I call Wait. Robert. Oh, Wait. Robert. Hey. oh, oh. This is my show. No, I thought you could help me get somebody fat. And then <laughs> fatter. fatter. So I got rolling. I, so, what a, so, but anyway, it turned out to be a really, really, really interesting interview. The guy, the guy's a pro. He's interesting. And, I'll uh, tell you why the show's fun is that you have Dan Natterman, who is by far one of my favorite. Uh, I should have. I mean, he is great on radio. He, yeah. his voice, his comic timing, and his intelligence is so perfect to be on a radio show. And he, he knows when to step in and he knows when to step out. And he has his own little segments now that you give him, which is great. And then you're you're actually, which enhances you, because you're not as funny. At, no, I'm kidding. You're, uh, no, you you're, you're actually have taken over the show and made it your show, finally. You've made it your show because you've getting these guests on because you're an intellect. You like to debate. You like to conver- have conversation and dialogue about certain subjects and fight and argue and, and learn things about people and teach people. So the show has become so fucking good, really good. So if you listen to this show, if you're a fan of Riotcast, <clears throat> Comedy Cellar Live uh, on the network is... By far, just an uh, outstanding show. Outstanding show. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, you should have. I, I mean, I would love to. I would love to see this thing be videotaped. So I would love to see a video of this. It would be great to have video because number one, you have these people coming on that are famous now that would you can tag them in on, on the internet and YouTube, and it would draw so much more. I would love to see video of these interviews you're doing. Well, can I just tell you that Riotcast? First of all, you guys should put up a um, a website for each one of our shows. Yeah, that we can. That we can easily post photos and video clips of the show. Right, that's not hard to do. Well, no, we have that. We're well, working on. We're working on that now. We're working on Riotcast TV. Where all, any show, we're gonna have every show have video yeah. and its own page. 
and it all goes together. Like we videotaped the the show in um, when we the book premiere at the uh, Village Underground. Right. We're putting that video together. That was under. That was the first Riotcast TV show we did. And then we want to get shows like you. And then we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a, a main page. It's called Riotcast TV with photos and, and videos that people can go to and watch of all the shows on that. Right. And each and each of us should have our own password. We can upload photos and stuff. Like yesterday, we had Steve King. You know, huge Steve King. Yeah. Uh, to talk to the guy from his own diet. Right. And I would like people to be able to see just how huge he is. They wanted the like, author Stephen King, but they screwed up. The movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he is funny. I told you, he's one of the best. He's a fucking. He's a. He's a sniper. Um, yeah. So, so and also, Robert, I I got a new piece of hardware. No. Uh, which will, will can allow us to um, interface telephone calls into the mixer. So Where you, is it? Uh, I just it just came in the mail today. Well, how much is it? I got it on eBay. How much? A couple hundred dollars. Did you buy it from my Amazon thing? On eBay, I know. Why don't you go through Amazon and get it and make us money? It would be new. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, what, sorry. What page did they get the Amazon link from? Uh, Riotcast at Robert Keller Live. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> so, if you want to make calls, <laughs> at, at, that's that's gonna be great, right? Calls for your show, great. Calls for my show, no good. No. Why? We, because my first of all, we just talk about whatever comes up. We went from fucking killing people to movies to him jerking off to Brokeback Mountain to you getting molested. It just goes where it goes. So you would never have a reason to call anybody. Well, this, we we have well, this. Here's the thing: we have people call up and they go like this. Hey, how uh, do we call in? Fan. I mean, you could call like you know Dane Cook or somebody. You know why or, Dane Cook? Dane, yeah. We haven't. I, I don't some, think Dane someone, likes or, me anymore. I was say, Dane doesn't who, even <laughs> like me anymore. I realized as I like, came. As it came out more, that he wouldn't answer about, the phone. I'm, but somebody, you're like, you could, you could, you could, somebody. Huh? Somebody, like, who could be interesting in the conversation. Now, like, your, yours should do calls where people could actually call in, where you could text out, we have this guy on right now, do you want to talk to him? Call in. You'd have to have somebody screen it, though, and people really stink on phone calls. I mean, but like, you, yesterday, I could have called you. Yeah. To talk and to made Dr. Fun of me. <laughs> no, that's not right. Yeah, <laughs> Fatso, listen, <laughs> we have a Fatso on call on line one. <laughs> Go ahead, Fatso. <laughs> fatso from Fatsville on Fat Street. It's fine. You don't need to use it. I'll, no. I'm going to keep. But it. here's the thing: I would love to use it, but uh, I, I, your show is becoming amazing. I just want to let you know that it's really one of my, Dr. Steve's show. Whole, oh my, your show and Dr. Steve's show. I don't know why somebody hasn't fucking picked these up and put them on serious. They're great shows. Great shows. Natterman, Natterman really should just have his own show. No, he's good on your show. Stop. Take the compliment. Shut your face. Now go deal with your wife. Okay. <laughs> All right, you child molester. Oh, I'm sorry. Mol child that got molested. That's, too, that's a difference, you know. <laughs> uh, good for you. Yeah, great, great time. <laughs> Um, all right, guys, we're the, we're out of here. We're we're done. I just fucking uh, that's known by the way who owns the comedy cellar village underground. Support his clubs because apparently he lost double New Year's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if Joe was paying for beer, he'd fucking make that up. That's what we want to do here: an Indian Puerto Rican yell at a Jew. <laughs> um, I want to thank. Uh, we're gonna thank everybody at the end of the show. But you guys are great. I had a great time. We're going to do all these promos, all the uh, ad plugs at the end real quick. Um, so, uh, you guys, Joe, thanks for coming, Joe. I'm glad to have you back yeah, on, brother. thanks for having hey. me back. I appreciate Mr. it. Yeah, I was lost without you guys. Mm. Oh, I love you, buddy. You're the best. Nice to meet you, mate. You. Nice to meet you. Good to have a drinking buddy in yeah, here. Yeah, you drink like a fucking, like you're going to the electric chair. It's his, yeah. med it's his medicine. <laughs> you're drinking two for one on he me. He needs to, though, because he has that shake quick. disease. Look at your hand now. Is it shaking as much now? See, it was shaking a lot more before. See how much it's all mellowed out. Wow. All right, so we got a doubly moat. Um, <laughs> what's your name again? <laughs> Double emote. Nick Cody. Nick Cody. No, a very funny comedian from Australia. Dude, thanks for being on these last couple of Hey, thanks uh, you, you very came much on for having me on, man. Uh, I appreciate it. You have fun? Yeah, love uh, it. Spread the word in your fucking goddamn crazy country. I certainly will. Come on, you're good friends with Susan Proven. Who's that? Melbourne. She's the head of the oh, Melbourne Comedy Is that what Jay went to? Yeah, no, he went to a Sydney one. Well, no, which Sydney, one's just, for which just, one's just for laughs. Just for laughs. That's open for Bill Burr at the Opera House. It, I've never got love from Australia. Really? any festival. Nothing. You should come along. Nothing. Uh, you've done Just for Laughs, haven't you? In Montreal? Yeah. I love those guys. Yeah, you've done yeah. a Montreal one. I'm They're gonna, the same people that do the Sydney ones. Put gonna, it out I'm there, gonna, mate. I'm, I'm going to dance yeah. a little. Put it out, nah, put it out there. You'll get it. You put it out there, I swear to you, you'll get it I'm back. Going to, I'm going to fucking Aruba in a couple of weeks. That's all I'm looking for. Yeah, and I'm staying at your house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put web... I, I, can't, 
I'm gonna have shower heads and a bidet. Yeah, and there's gonna be webcams everywhere. Oh. I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you Let's, fiddling your stick. That's yeah. fine. I don't whack off in your house. So yeah, you will. No, you, oh, absolutely, you will. Because I'm gonna leave fucking luscious vibrators all over the place. <laughs> Maybe Kelly will have me over for the Patriots game. Hey, oh, oh. there you go. Oh, I'd love to. See, I'd love to catch you trying to finger fuck her while she's drunk on your cameras. <laughs> you. Yeah, and then you have to go to my tub and just blow yourself and come in your own face again. <laughs> that's a whole different story. No, don't even. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, Noam, thank you for coming on. Thank you for letting us use your place. How do, what do you think of the place, anyways? You think it's nice? Looks great. <laughs> Looks great, right? <laughs> All right, that's it, you guys. That's another episode. Well, that's yeah. it, yeah. Another episode of You Know What, Dude. Uh, we'll see you guys next week, whenever that may be. Bye. All right, we're going to do the promos real quick. New way of doing them. Joe, go. Uh, this weekend, I will be headlining the Comedy Works in Montreal. New Year's Eve, I'll be at Helium Comedy Club with Gary Goldman. You're in Montreal? Yes. Headlining. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Go! <laughs> Nick, Nick Cody, Cody here. At the Nick Cody on Twitter. I'm at the Sydney Comedy Store from December 6th to 8th. That's it. That's it. And go to your website for more. Kelly, go! Um, uh, first Saturday of every month, go to the Creek in the Cave for Underbelly, 10 o'clock Saturday night. Follow me on Twitter, K-E-L-O-Y-F-A-S-D-U-Z-A. And someday that will change. <laughs> yeah. And Linda, go! You can follow me on Twitter at LT Photography 2 God, Number you're two. sexy. She's um, unbelievable. God, yeah, damn, it's crazy. I can't even. Hi, right. crazy. That's it. No more. No more talk. That's what happens. See what happens? I fucking did it. I fucked up. RobertKellyLive.com. All my dates. My award-winning app to find out where I'm going to be near you. The podcast is on there. Riotcast.com app. It's unbelievable. Twelve of the best podcasts on the fucking internet for free <laughs> every week, and the app is free for iPad and iPhone, and it is coming for. Android very soon. Make sure you go there. Support us by Amazon and Gamefly. Make sure you support our sponsors. You guys are the best. Take care. Bye-bye. Boo-boo. If you have any questions or constructive criticism or suggestions for the YKWD podcast, please send them to YKWD at riotcast.com. Uh, those emails go directly to us. We look at them all. So if you have... Uh, you know, some titty pics of your wife or girlfriend or pictures of your own vagina, please send them to ykwd at riotcast.com. We look at them all. We take all your suggestions to heart and uh, we try to implement them. <laughs> Not really, but we do like the emails. So uh, any guest suggestions, anybody you want to see on the show, all that shit. Ykwd at riotcast.com. Make sure you support our sponsors, Amazon and Gamefly. Amazon, go to riotcast.com, click on the You Know What Dude podcast page. There's an Amazon link. Click on it. Buy what you're going to buy. Clothes, groceries, hovercraft, electronics, whatever the fuck you're going to get. Get it through that link. You're getting us money, you're getting Amazon money, and you're saving money and getting the shit you need. So make sure you use the Amazon link on the You Know What Dude podcast site on riotcast.com. And if you're a video game guy, go to gamefly.com slash YKWD. Join through that link. You're going to get two weeks free. It's saving a lot of money. And then you can fucking cancel if you want. Or you can you can stay on, which you should, and get games sent to your house. You don't have to go buy them and spend the $60 and find out the game stinks. Get it through Gamefly first. Check it out. And if you like it, you can buy it through Gamefly. It's an easy, really easy, great way to play video games and not spend a million dollars a month because new games come out every month. Before you know it, you spent fucking three hundred dollars, uh, and two of the games stink. Or you already blew through them already. It's done. If you're a story mode asshole and you don't play multiplayer, so go to GameFly.com/ykwd. Join up for a couple weeks. Check it out. You're gonna love it. I guarantee it. Gamefly.com slash YKWD. If you're a fan of YKWD podcast, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go right now and download, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, the free Riotcast app. And if you don't, just go to Riotcast.com or go to Stitcher uh, and check it out if you have an Android phone. And I want you to check out all the other shows. My Wife Hates Me, Jim Florentine's Comedy Mental Midgets, Weird Medicine with Dr. Steve, The Glory Hole, 
with Rob Sprantz, Comedy Cellar, Live from the Table, The Bailey J Show with Matt, The Davy Max Sports Program, Why You Suck in Bed, Mad Scientist Party Hour, The Jersey Jerks, and The Hammer Fisting MMA Podcast. It's free. It's hours and hours and hours of entertainment for nothing. That's what we give you at Riotcast. So go and support the other shows. Tell your friends about it. Spread the word. This is the fucking most amazing podcast network. So if you love my show, go support the other shows. Okay? Go and check them out. Riotcast.com app for iPhone and iPad. Android is coming soon. Get Stitcher if you if you have an Android phone. Or just go to Riotcast.com. And go to iTunes. Subscribe to my show and the other shows and leave a review. You don't understand that these this shit's free and that helps a lot. Okay, you keep us in the top 100, maybe get us to the top 20. I don't know, maybe the top 10. And that's when other people see that and they, they, they check out the show and it feeds itself. That's how that works. So please review iTunes and uh, make sure you subscribe. Spread the word. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much. You are so beautiful uh, to me. You know